संस्था साहित्य अकेडमी आयोजित डॉक्टर गोपीनाथ महांति स्मारक वक्तृता समारोह भव्य आसर में आप प्रति बड़ा अभिनंदन अर्पण करुड़िया साहित्यर जन का स्रष्टा पुरुष भाव गोपीनाथ महांति कृतित्व अभिसंवादित निज जीवदशा मध्य जी साहित्य साधना को नहीं बेस चर्चित थी जन प्रशासक भाव जीवन को प्रशासन दूरवीक्षण में न देख सहृदयतार स्वच्छ दर्पण से जीवन को देखु से अन्य साधक रेल सरस्वती निराज नारी सकल सृजनी को समर्पित ए जातिर साहित्य परिमंडल को जीक समृद्ध कर गल्प एवं उपन्यास मध्यम जो अन्य चरित्र अवतारणा कर वर्णना पाठक को नहीं ओडिया साहित्य एक दिगवारिणी भाव निजर कृतित्व को व्यक्त कर कालजयी सारस्वत साधक को आज कृतज्ञ जाति प्रणाम नवेदन कर डर गोपीनाथ महांति भव्य लग्न जहाँ आज संध्या आज समावेश विशेष भाव समर्पित आज भव्य समावेश बरेण्य अतिथि भाव आज आम सहित जो दूसरी राज्य सरकार के ओडिया भाषा साहित्य संस्कृति विभाग बरेण्य मंत्री माननीय श्रीजुक्त अश्विनी कुमार पात्र महोदय आज आम सम्मान अतिथि भाव में मंच मंडन करेंगे अतिरिक्त मुख्य शासन सचिव ओडिया भाषा साहित्य संस्कृति विभाग श्रीजुक्त सत्यव्रत साहू महोदय आम स्वागत करम प्रारंभ में मुझे अनुरोध करी माननीय श्रीजुक्त अमृतनाथ महांती महोदय को संपादक गोपीनाथ महांति मेमोरियाल ट्रस्ट बरेण्य अतिथि को श्रद्धा और सम्मान सहित मंच को पाचकी नहीं आसवा पुणे शुभ ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी सभापति ओडार एक सुप्रतिष्ठित गाल्पिक कवि समालोचक डर हृषिकेश मल्लिक एवं आमर परम सौभाग्य जे आम निकट में आज अच्छा श्रीजुक्त अश्विनी कुमार पात्र मानवर मंत्री पर्यटन ओडिया भाषा साहित्य और संस्कृति एवं अवकारी विभाग ओडार या व्यतीत टयलर्स या व्यतीत गोपीनाथ महांती फाउंडेसन रफेसर डर ओंकार नाथ महांती ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी सुनामधन्य वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ओडिया साहित्यर अन्तम जड़े सफल साहित्यक डर संग्राम जेना एवं ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी सचिव सम्मान श्रीजुक्त प्रबोध कुमार राउत समस्त को मु गोपीनाथ महांती फाउंडेसन ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी एवं आपण मान तरफ समस्त को विनम्र श्रद्धाजलि जनाऊँगी बर्तमान मुरोध कर डर मृत्युंजय रथ को मंच परिचा करने माननीय श्रीयुक्त अमृतनाथ महांती महोदय कालजयी सारस्वत साधक डर गोपीनाथ महांती कनिष्ठ पुत्र अग्रकथन को नहीं आम सभा मंच स्वागत करुचु आज सन्धार बरेण्य अतिथि को जो मान गरिमामय उपस्थित ये कार्यक्रम को विशेष भाव रसयुक्त करवामय कर समस्त निकट कृतज्ञता अर्पण करने पूर्वक आद्य लग्न से बरेण्य सारस्वत साधक डर गोपीनाथ महांती फटोचित्र सम्मुखें प्रदीप प्रज्वलन पूर्वक ए उत्सव आनुष्ठानिक शुभारंभ करने प्रस्तुत होने बरेण्य अतिथि को श्रद्धा नवेदन करुचु एवं प्रारंभ में डर गोपीनाथ महांती अम्लान स्मृति में आज समावेश समर्पित कार्यक्रम को आगे नेबु एवं अनुरोध करूँ मंच मंडन कर बरेण्य अतिथि वर्ग को प्रदीप प्रज्वलन पूर्वक ये उत्सव आनुष्ठानिक शुभ उद्घाटन करने सहित पुष्पार्घ्य अर्पण करेंगे डर गोपीनाथ महांती फटोचित्र निकट में वेदपाठ पूर्वक यह आसर को विशेष भाव अधिक भावपूर्ण करने श्रद्धेय अस्मदीय महापात्र अस्मी महापात्र डीएवि पब्लिक स्कूल छात्र को 
आमे अनुरोध करूछु एवं गुरु संतोष कुमार तरंग का द्वारा प्रशिक्षित किया हुई थी वा शिल्पी द्वारा करो पैदा पाठ पे निवेदन करूछु
ओडिशा साहित्य एकाडेमी पूज्य पूजार परंपरा को पुष्क ओडिया साहित्य जगतर एकषड़ी जन प्रतिभाधर धरावतरण स्वर्गारोहण वार्षिक पालन करें चारज विशेष प्रतिभाधर स्मारक वक्तृता आयोजन करें से ही क्रम आज समावेश मानस बंधन रोजन आज आम गहन अच्छा ओडा सरकार पर्यटन ओडिया भाषा साहित्य और संस्कृति एवं अबकारी विभाग मानवर मंत्री श्रीजुक्त अश्विनी कुमार पात्र महोदय से आज उद्घाटक परिचित कर दृष्टता करूनी एति की मात्र कहीपे जड़े नम्रभाषी शिष्ट राजनेता भाव प्रख्याति साउंटी श्रीजुक्त पात्र जड़े दूरदस्टा से महोदय दिग्दर्शन में आम विभाग चलचंचल मानवर मुख्यमंत्री श्रीजुक्त नवीन पट्टनायक ऐतिह कैबिनेट निष्पत्ति को कार्यान्वयन कर सतत व्रति मानवर मंत्री महोदय को आज कार्यक्रम को स्वागत करुच्ची मथनत नमस्कार कर मुख्य अतिथि भाव जे मंचासीन होती से साहित्य संगीत और प्रशासन त्रिवेणी संगम ओडिया भाषा सरकारी नथि संपादन करवस्था वाणिज्य प्रतिष्ठान नाम फलक ओडिया लिखा को बाध्यतामूलक करने वंदे उत्कल जननी संगीतर गायन समय और शैली को विहित करने विभिन्न सांस्कृतिक पीठ तथा महामनीषी मान स्मृतिपीठर सदृश उन्नतिकरण करने ओडिया भाषा साहित्य और संस्कृति विभाग अनुदान राशि को बहुगुणित करने प्रशासन को चलचंचल करने को नियमित भाव साप्ताहिक समीक्षा बैठक करने और निर्धारण गुड़िकर तत्काल क्रियान्वयन करे सिद्धहस्त राज्य सरकार राजस्व और विपर्जय परिचालना जंगल और परेश विभाग स्वतंत्र रिलीफ कमिशनर पर बहु गुरुत्वपूर्ण विभाग गुरुदायित्व तो सहित तो ओडिया भाषा साहित्य और संस्कृति विभाग मंगल भाव जी आम भाषा और साहित्य संस्कृति सुरक्षा प्रचार प्रसार दिगरे एकात्म सी आम विभाग अतिरिक्त मुख्य शासन सचिव महोदय श्रीजुक्त सत्यव्रत साहू मुझे स्वागत करुच्ची नमस्कार करुच्ची भवोदय उपस्थित आमपाई प्रेरणार उत्स एतद भिन्न श्रीजुक्त साहू जड़े सुगायक कर्मव्यवस्था कर्मव्यस्तता मध्य समय काढ़ती परसी दिखती हृदय स्पर्शी हृदय स्पर्शी संगीतर मूर्छना ए जावत अन्न अशी रु ऊर्ध गीत गई बहुमुखी प्रतिभा परिचय देखते कही रखे से महोदय निर्देश क्रमे गोपीनाथ रचना समग्र ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी प्रकाश करने को आज जी स्मारक वक्तृता प्रदान करेंगे से हूँ प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी महोदय आई व्वेलकम प्रफेसर डक्टर सुकांत चौधरी एमरीटस एंड जादवपुर यूनिवर्सीटी कोलकाता प्रफेसर चौधरी हाज हेल भिजिटिंग आपार्टमेंट्स एट सेभेराल व्वेल नन इन्यूशन इनक्लूड अल सोल्स कलेज अक्सफोर्ड सेंट जन्स कलेज कैम्ब्रिज दि स्कूल अफ आडांस स्टडी लंडन यूनिवर्सी अफ आलबेटा यूनिवर्सीटी अफ भर्जिनि एंड लयला यूनिवर्सीटी चिकागो हि इज एन अनरारी फेलो अफ दि एसीयेटिक सोसाइटी कोलकाता एंड व्ज ए मेम्बर अफ दि एक्जिक्यूट कमिटी अफ दि इंटरनेशनाल सेक्सपियर आसोसीएसन प्रफेसर चौधरी व्ज इलेक्टेड आज ए करेस्पंडी फेलो अफ दि ब्रिटिश एकाडेमी रेयर अनर हि इज दि एस्टिम स्पीकर अफ दिस इवनिंग आई व्वेलकम यू सार आज आम गहन आम निर्देशक महोदय रहा कथा केतक शारीरिक असुस्थता कारण से पहुँची पारि ना तेरे मोबाइल जगे से मत प्रोग्राम कार्यक्रम शुभकामना मनासीच्चा धन्यवाद जनावि आज सारस्वत उत्सव सभा मुख्य भाव में उपस्थित अच्छा ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी सभापति डर ऋषिकेश मल्लिक महोदय डर मल्लिक आपण मान समस्त जनाशुना जन कवि शिक्षा विद और समालोचक सारा सारा पुरस्कार प्राप्त और केन्द्र साहित्य एकाडेमी पुरस्कार प्राप्त श्रीजुक्त मल्लिक ओडार गर्व और गौरव सर आज स्मारक वक्तृता सभा को आपन को सम्मान स्वागत करापन वक्तव्य देवे सी हूँ ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी उपसभापति डर संग्राम जेना महोदय डक्टर जेना जन सुसाहित्यिक अनुवादक साहित्य संगठक मार्ग एसीआ पत्रिकार संपादक आज उत्सव में मंचासीन हो आमको से अनुगृहित कर कार्यक्रम को सम्मान सहित स्वागत करुच्ची नमस्कार कर गोपीनाथ फाउंडेसन ट्रस्टर संपादक डक्टर गोपीनाथ महांती सुपुत्र श्री अमृतनाथ महांती को मुझे स्वागत करुच्ची गोपीनाथ फाउंडेसन ट्रस्टर अध्यक्ष श्रीजुक्त ओंकारनाथ महांती महोदय मुझे स्वागत करुच्ची नमस्कार कर मु स्वागत करुच्ची प्रेक्षा उपस्थित मान्यगण्य गोपीनाथ प्रेमी सारस्वत प्रेमी समस्त महानुभाव 
विदुषी तथा आम सह आभासी मध्यम जोड़ी आपण मान समस्त को आपण मान भव्य उपस्थित आम को उत्साहित कर आगामी दिन में बाट कढ़ेबार यह सहायक हे मुनर्व आपण मानक सादर स्वागत करुँच प्रणाम जनाऊँगी स्वागत करुँच इलेक्ट्रोनिक्स मीडिया प्रिंट मीडिया बंधुगण सादर निमंत्रण करुच्ची आगामी बैश और तेईस तारीख में संस्कृति भवन सम्मिलन कक्ष केन्द्र साहित्य एकाडेमी सहभागित आयोजित होगाक जा सौरा भाषा शीर्षक आलोचना चक्र को ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी पारंपरिक भाव ओडार कृतविद्य साहित्य साधक मान स्मारक वक्तृता कार्यक्रम आयोजन करें ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी निरंतर भाव पूज्य पूजार परंपरा को बजाय रखी आसी से दायित्व में आज उत्सव ज्ञानपीठ विजेता औपन्यासिक गोपीनाथ महांती रचना सब आदिवासी जीवन चर्चा और सेना आधुनिकतार अत्याचार को नहीं प्रमुख रचना वाली मध्य दादी बुढ़ा परजा अमृतर सतान छाई आलुओ आदि अन्यतम से सतावन रु ऊर्ध पुस्तक रचयिता बेस समय ने भी ना जहाँ कही न कहले मो कथा अधा रही ताला ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी इतिम्य दुई हजार षोल सतर रु उ कोड़े पर्यत राजा राममोहन राय लाइब्रेरी फाउंडेसन मध्यम चयन कर समस्त पुस्तक आहरण प्रक्रिया एवं आरंभ कर जो पब्लीसर बंधुगण अच्छा से निश्चित भाव ज्ञात थे नाना बाधा विघ्न सत्वे दुई हजार सतर रु दुई हजार तेईस मसीहा पर्यत साहित्य एकाडेमी पुरस्कार संवर्धना अति बड़ी पुरस्कार तार प्रक्रिया एवं आम समापन करने को जाऊँ ओडिया भक्ति साहित्य को कन्नड़े कन्नड़ भक्ति साहित्य को ओडिया भाषा अनुदित कर पैंतीस खंड नूतन पुस्तक छपेबार बंदोबस्त करा साहित्य विषय में सर्वोच्च नंबर रखि हाईस्कल रु एम ए पर्यटन छात्र छात्री मान एकाडेमी स्वर्ण छात्र दिवस में पुरस्कृत करी प्रकाशित पुस्तक गुड़िकर डिजिटाइजेसन कर पोर्टाल समस्त उपलब्ध कराई ई सर्फिंग पोर्टाल ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी पांच सौ बावन खंड प्रकाशित पुस्तक को उपलब्ध कराई उपनिषदर ओडिया नवाक्षरी अनुवाद एक त्रैमासिक मुखपत्र सारा पत्रिकार प्रकाशन नूतन विभाग में पुरस्कार प्रदान आदि योजना कार्यक्रम हाथ को निजार पदक्षेप ग्रहण करुचु आगामी दिन में बहु कार्य संपादन करने बाकी अच्छी आपण मानक सहयोग कामना कर गठनमूलक समालोचना को स्वागत करुच्ची आपण मानक पुनर्व स्वागत जनाऊँच नमस्कार जनाऊँच आज स्मारक वक्तृता समारोह में मुझे गोपीनाथ महांती को श्रद्धा सुमन अर्पण करुच्च बंदे उत्कल जन ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी बरण्य सचिव सम्मानीय प्रशासनिक अधिकारी श्रीयुक्त प्रमोद कुमार राउत महोदय निकट में आम कृतज्ञता नवेदन करुचु आपण मानक ये कही रख आज एभली एक विशेष समावेश बरण्य अतिथि भाव में आम सहित संयुक्त होता ओडिया भाषा साहित्य संस्कृति विभाग रम्मानीय अतिरिक्त मुख्य शासन सचिव माननीय श्रीयुक्त सहदेव साहू महोदय माननीय श्रीयुक्त सत्यव्रत साहू महोदय आपण मैंने जानते बहुविध दायित्व संप्रति बरण्य मुख्यमंत्री निर्देश अनुसार आउ एक विशेष कार्यक्रम से अपेक्षित अच्छा एवं आम अनुरोध कर मंच मंडन करण्य अतिथि कर कमल माननीय मुख्य अतिथि कर कमल आज जी स्मारक वक्तृता प्रदान करेंगे आम समस्त सम्माननीय माननीय श्रीयुक्त आम अनुरोध कर गोपीनाथ महांती स्मारक वक्तृता प्रदान करने को जा बरण्य वक्ता को आज ये विशेष कार्यक्रम मध्यम प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी महोदय को धन्यवाद मंत्री महोदय संबर्धित कर अंगवस्त्र प्रदान करी आम विशेष कृतज्ञता नवेदन करूँ माननीय सुप्र सत्यव्रत साहू महोदय अतिरिक्त मुख्य शासन सचिव महोदय आउ एक विशेष कार्यक्रम सरकारी कार्यक्रम बाध्यकता को नहीं अन्य एक कार्यक्रम अपेक्षित अच्छा मानवर मुख्यमंत्री महोदय निर्देश क्रमे तेणु आम मेलानी देवा पूर्व अनुरोध करूँ आज समावेश उद्बोधन रखिए आपण मान विपुल करताली अभिवादन जनइबू माननीय सुप्त सत्यव्रत साहू महोदय जय जगन्नाथ समस्त नमस्कार प्रथम मुझे क्षमा प्रार्थना करुँचे वक्तव्य देवी मो ओंकार बाबूं अभिभाषण शुणापर मुझे विदाय नेबी किंतु रेकर्डेड भिडियो मुझे आज जी चीफ स्पीकर अच्छा आज आज कार्यक्रम मुख्य आकर्षण 
ତାଙ୍କର ନିଶ୍ଚିତ ଭାବରେ ମୁଁ ଶୁଣିବି ଏବଂ ମୁଁ ଶୁଣିବାକୁ ବହୁତ ଇଚ୍ଛା ମଧ୍ୟ ମୋର ରହିଛି ତେଣୁ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ବ୍ୟସ୍ତତା ପାଇଁ ମୁଁ ଏଠୁ ବିଦାୟ ନେବି ସର୍ବପ୍ରଥମେ ମୁଁ ମାନ୍ୟବର ପର୍ଯ୍ୟଟନ ଓଡ଼ିଆ ଭାଷା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଓ ସଂସ୍କୃତି ଏବଂ ଅବକାରୀ ବିଭାଗର ଆମ ପରିବାରର ମୁଖ୍ୟ ମାନ୍ୟବର ମନ୍ତ୍ରୀ ମହାଶୟ ଶ୍ରୀଯୁକ୍ତ ଅଶ୍ୱିନୀ କୁମାର ପାତ୍ର ତାଙ୍କୁ ନମସ୍କାର ଜଣାଉଛି ସ୍ୱାଗତ କରୁଛି ଆଜିର ଏହି କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମକୁ ଯାଦବପୁର ବିଶ୍ୱବିଦ୍ୟାଳୟର ଏମେରିଟସ୍ ପ୍ରଫେସର ସୁକାନ୍ତ ଚୌଧୁରୀ ମହୋଦୟ ଯିଏ ଆଜି ଆପଣଙ୍କର ତାଙ୍କର ଦୀକ୍ଷାନ୍ତ ଭାଷଣ ଏଠି ପ୍ରଦାନ କରିବେ ତାଙ୍କୁ ମଧ୍ୟ ମୁଁ ସ୍ୱାଗତ କରୁଛି ଏକାଡେମୀର ସଭାପତି ଡକ୍ଟର ମଲ୍ଲିକ ଉପସଭାପତି ଡକ୍ଟର ଜେନା ଆମର ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ଫାଉଣ୍ଡେସନ୍ ଟ୍ରଷ୍ଟର ଅଧ୍ୟକ୍ଷ ପ୍ରଫେସର ଓଙ୍କାରନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ସମ୍ପାଦକ ଶ୍ରୀଯୁକ୍ତ ଅମୃତନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ଆମ ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଏକାଡେମୀର ସଚିବ ପ୍ରବୋଦ କୁମାର ରାଉତ ଏଠି ଉପସ୍ଥିତ ଥିବା ସମସ୍ତ ମାନ୍ୟଗଣ୍ୟ ବ୍ୟକ୍ତିବୃନ୍ଦ ବୃନ୍ଦ ସବୁ ସୁଧିବୃନ୍ଦ ବିଭିନ୍ନ ଅଞ୍ଚଳରୁ ଆସିଥିବା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ପ୍ରେମୀ କଳାପ୍ରେମୀ ଜନସାଧାରଣ ଏବଂ ପ୍ରିଣ୍ଟସ୍ ଓ ଇଲେକ୍ଟ୍ରୋନିକ୍ ମିଡ଼ିଆର ସମସ୍ତ ବନ୍ଧୁମାନେ ସମସ୍ତଙ୍କୁ ପୁନର୍ବାର ମୁଁ ନମସ୍କାର କରୁଛି ଆମ ବିଭାଗ ତରଫରୁ ଯାହା ପୂର୍ବରୁ ପ୍ରବୋଧ ବାବୁ କହୁଥିଲେ ଏଇଭଳିଆ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମ ଆମେ ବହୁ ବର୍ଷ ଧରି ବତିଶତମ ଆଜି ଯେଉଁ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମ ହେଉଛି ଜନ୍ମ ଜୟନ୍ତୀ ସେଇ ମହାନ ପୁରୁଷ ଓଡ଼ିଆ ମାଟିର ସେଇ ବରପୁତ୍ର ଯିଏ ଉଣେଇଶହ ଚଉଦ ମସିହାରେ ଆମର ଏଇ ପବିତ୍ର ମାଟିରେ ଓଡ଼ିଶା ମାଟିରେ ଜନ୍ମଗ୍ରହଣ କରିଥିଲେ ଏବଂ ତାଙ୍କର ଶହେ ନଅତମ ପୁଣ୍ୟତିଥି ଆଜି ଆମେ ପାଳନ କରୁଛୁ ଏବଂ ଏଇଭଳିଆ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମ ଆମେ ଆଗରୁ ଏକତିରିଶ ଥର କରିଛେ ନା ବତିଶ ଥର ଆମେ ଆରମ୍ଭ କରୁଛେ ଆରମ୍ଭ କରିଛେ ଏବଂ ଏହି କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମଟି ଏତେ ଗୁରୁତ୍ୱପୂର୍ଣ୍ଣ କାହିଁକିନା ସେ ହେଉଛନ୍ତି ଆପଣମାନେ ଯେତେ ଆଜି ଦେଖିଥିବେ ମାନ୍ୟବର ମୁଖ୍ୟମନ୍ତ୍ରୀ ମଧ୍ୟ ଯିଏକି କଳା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଓ ସଂସ୍କୃତିର ପୂଜାରୀ ସେ ସବୁବେଳେ ଆମ ରାଜ୍ୟ ଓଡ଼ିଶାର ଭାଷା ସାହିତ୍ୟ କଳା ସଂସ୍କୃତି ସ୍ଥାପତ୍ୟ ସବୁଗୁଡ଼ା କିପରି ବିଶ୍ୱ ଦରବାରରେ ଉତ୍କୃଷ୍ଟତା ପ୍ରତିପାଦିତ କରୁ ସେଥିପାଇଁ ସେ ଚିନ୍ତିତ ଏବଂ ସବୁବେଳେ ତାଙ୍କର ବ୍ୟଗ୍ରତା ଦେଖେଇଥାନ୍ତି ସେ ମଧ୍ୟ ଆଜି ଟ୍ୱିଟ୍ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଏହି ମହାପୁରୁଷଙ୍କ ବିଷୟରେ ଏବଂ ବହୁ ଲୋକ ତାକୁ ରିଟ୍ୱିଟ୍ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଏବଂ ଲାଇକ୍ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଭିଉଜ୍ କରିଛନ୍ତି ମୁଁ ଦେଖୁଥିଲି ତେଣୁ ଏଇଭଳିଆ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମରେ ଆମେ ଜଣେ ବହୁତ ଭଲ ବ୍ୟକ୍ତିଙ୍କୁ ପାଇଛେ ଯେ ଆଜି ତାଙ୍କ ବକ୍ତୃତା ଦେବେ ୟୁରୋପୀୟ ଜାଗରଣ ଟାଗୋର ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଏବଂ ଅନୁବାଦ ସାହିତ୍ୟର ହେଉଛନ୍ତି ଡକ୍ଟର ଚୌଧୁରୀ ପ୍ରଫେସର ଚୌଧୁରୀ ହେଉଛନ୍ତି ଜଣେ ବିଶିଷ୍ଟ ପ୍ରବକ୍ତା ଅକ୍ସଫୋର୍ଡ ଟାଗୋର ଅନୁବାଦର ସାଧାରଣ ସମ୍ପାଦକ ମଧ୍ୟ ସେ ଅଛନ୍ତି ଯାଦବପୁର ବିଶ୍ୱବିଦ୍ୟାଳୟର ପ୍ରଫେସର ହିସାବରେ ଏବଂ ପୃଥିବୀର ବହୁ ବିଖ୍ୟାତ ବିଶ୍ୱବିଦ୍ୟାଳୟରେ ଗେଷ୍ଟ ଲେକ୍ଚର ଦେବା ପାଇଁ ସେ ପ୍ରଫେସର ହିସାବରେ ଯାଇ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଏବଂ ସେ ଜଣେ ସୁବକ୍ତା ତେଣୁ ଆଜି ଆମେ ତାଙ୍କୁ ଆମ ଏଇ ଓଡ଼ିଶା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଏକାଡେମୀ ତରଫରୁ ଆମ ବିଭାଗ ତରଫରୁ ନିମନ୍ତ୍ରଣ କରି ଏବଂ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ଫାଉଣ୍ଡେସନ୍ ଟ୍ରଷ୍ଟରୁ ଆମେ ଯେଉଁ ତାଙ୍କୁ ନିମନ୍ତ୍ରଣ କରିଛୁ ତାଙ୍କୁ ଆମେ ଏଠି ପାଇଛୁ ସେଥିପାଇଁ ଆମେ ସମସ୍ତେ ଓଡ଼ିଶାବାସୀ ଏବଂ ଓଡ଼ିଶାର ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଜଗତ ସାର୍ ଆପଣଙ୍କୁ ପାଇ ଆମେ ବହୁତ ଖୁସି ସେ ନୂଆ ପୁନର୍ବାର ମୁଁ ଆପଣଙ୍କୁ ନମସ୍କାର ଜଣାଉଛି ପ୍ରଫେସର ଚୌଧୁରୀ ନିକଟ ଅତୀତରେ ଓଡ଼ିଶା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଏକାଡେମୀ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ରଚନା ସମଗ୍ର ପ୍ରକାଶନ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଆମେ ଉଦ୍ୟମ ଆରମ୍ଭ କରିଛୁ ତାଙ୍କ ସାହିତ୍ୟର ପ୍ରଚାର ପ୍ରସାର ଦିଗରେ ଏକାଡେମୀ ଯେଉଁ ଉଦ୍ୟମ ଜାରି ରଖିଛି ସେଥିପାଇଁ ମୁଁ ସଭାପତି ଉପସଭାପତି ଏବଂ ସଚିବ ଓଡ଼ିଶା ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଏକାଡେମୀ ତାଙ୍କୁ ସାଧୁବାଦ ଜଣାଉଛି ମାନ୍ୟବର ମୁଖ୍ୟମନ୍ତ୍ରୀ ପାଞ୍ଚ ବର୍ଷ ତଳେ ଆମର ଯେଉଁ ଐତିହ୍ୟ କ୍ୟାବିନେଟ୍ ହୋଇଥିଲା ତା'ର ନିଷ୍ପତ୍ତି କ୍ରମେ ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଓ ସଂସ୍କୃତିର ସୁରକ୍ଷା ଦିଗରେ ସବୁବେଳେ ଦୃଷ୍ଟି ଦେଇଛନ୍ତି ଏବଂ ଗୁରୁତ୍ୱ ଆରୋପ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଆଗାମୀ ଦିନରେ ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଓ ସାହିତ୍ୟ ଅନୁରାଗୀମାନଙ୍କର ପାଇଁ ଆମେ କ'ଣ କରିବା କରିବୁ ଏବଂ କରାଯାଇପାରିବ ତା ପାଇଁ ଗୋଟିଏ ଖସଡ଼ା ପ
बगोराई ब्लक बालेश्वर जिले में तार किपर त्वरित कार्य करोटी मानव मुख्यमंत्री जीवे तार विकास कर स्मारक ठीक भाव के निर्माण करेषा करूचु तापर अन्न्य अंचल गस्त करूँ पंडित दीनकृष्ण दास पीठ को किपर उन्नति कर रईबणिया दुर्ग को आम जा फोर्ट को ताकू के उन्नति करा कह उद्देश्य है मो अभिभाषण में जो मानव मुख्यमंत्री कहतु कि मानव संस्कृति मंत्री कहतु राज्य सरकार एमती दुईज मुरबी आम विभाग पाई जो मैंने कि सदा सर्वदा ओडार कला साहित्य और संस्कृति पर चिंतित अच्छा व्यस्त व्यव्रत हूँ कहीं करें शीघ्र कर बजेट्र कौन असुविधा नहीं जहाँ पैसा आम मगुच आमको मिलूँ तेणु आज ये भाया एक पवित्र महापुर दिन में आम महापुरुष जो उत्सव पालन करूँ को सूचना देवाक जा सरकार निकट में विभाग निकट में अर्थर कौन अभाव नहीं केवल आपण मान सहयोग आपण सदिच्छा आपण मान शुभे आपण मान जदि भल पाइबा आम सहित रे निश्चित भाव में आम आग को दी पाद आगे पार्बू बहुत किसी करूँ आम बहुत किसी करूँ से आपण मैंने सहयोग करूँ आसवा बर्तमान पद्म भूषण डक्टर गोपीनाथ महां से होंगे ज्ञानपीठ पुरस्कार विजेता एवं तर जन्म आम जो होता है उन्नीस सौ चौदह मसीहा एप्रिल कोड़े कटक सहर उपकंठ नागवली ग्राम से से पटना विश्वविद्यालय इंग्राजी साहित्य स्नातकोत्तर शिक्षा प्राप्त कला सर उन्नीस सौ अड़तीस मसीहार ओडा प्रशासनिक सेवे जोगदे कौन सी कारण बशत जोटा ओंकार बाबू कहे से भारतीय से इंडियान सिविल सर्विस पाला जोटा यूपीएससी कंडक्ट करुच्चे से अलमोस्ट कृत कार्य होते कि गोटे असुविधा रही है जोपाई से जोगदान कर भाषण देवे आप उन्नीस सौ टे कहे चाकरी काल से विभिन्न जगार काम कर सुदूर कोरापुर ठार आरंभ कर जयपुर ठार आरंभ कर पश्चिम ओडार बरगढ़ दक्षिण ओडार छत्रपुर आस्का रायगड़ा ता छा कोस्टाल ओडार कटक पूरी जापुर तेणु ओडार से तेरह जिला थी आप देखिए से प्राय सब जिला कभर कर देखु बायोडाटा और से जो जो जगह कम कर जो भी कम कर साहित्य प्रचार कर प्रशासनिक दक्षता देखें लोक मान सेवा करेणु से जो एकाधार जो भल प्रशासक भल साहित्यिक तेणु तक आज हूँ जन्मतिथि या ठूँ या कार्यक्रम में आम एत जन बस कि आज स्मृति को चारण कला बेले आम नमन करवा आम समस्त आदर्श अनुप्राणित होगा यहाँ मोर समस्त अनुरोध से जो भी अवस्था कर चाकरी जीवन में आम जमी चाकरी जीवन से कहते व्यस्ता भितर मुझे कही आ पाते विद्यालय विभाग में कम करी विद्यालय गणशिक्षार सचिव थी से पिला कहूली बापा माँ मैंने जो फोर्स कर पाला भितर गोटे अंतर्निहित गुण अच्छे केवल पाठ नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट यही आम जो पितामाता मैंने जाऊँ ता पचर न गोड़े पिला जो अंतर्निहित गुण अच्छी किए भल स्पोर्ट्समैन हो गए गोटे भल पेटर हो गए भल गीत गाँव थो किए भल नाचु थो किए भल डिबेट ओरेटरी स्किल कहार भल थो ताकूँ बाछी पारा एवं से दिग्वे पिला को जब ना पाठ सहित जो साठ रही से गोटे सामग्रिक भाव में गोटे ओभरअल कम्प्लीट पर्सनालीटी होकर बाहरी पारे तार व्यक्तित्व कम्प्लीटली परिप्रकाश हो पार जोटा कि आजिका पाने केवल पाठ उपर पेरेन्ट्स मैंने बेस फोकस कर तेणु सीए समय भितर देखो तो प्रशासनिक कार्य करते जो जगार से स्थान चाकरी कर जगार से लेखा मध्यम से ही स्थान और सेठाकार मनीष को अबिकल भाव में तरह चरित्र को वर्णना कर आंकीपे पंचावन वर्ष बयस उणस्तरी मसीह से सेत बोध चाकरी आम पंचावन वर्ष थी अठावन है एवं आम षाठी वर्ष रिटायर्ड हो नाइंटीन सिक्सटी नाइन में से अवसर ग्रहण करते आमेरिकार कालीफर्णिया विभिन्न विश्वविद्यालय को मध्य से आमंत्रित हो जा छयाशी सताशी मसीह एक वर्ष रु ऊर्धव समय धरी से विभिन्न प्रकार अभिभाषण वक्तृता कार्यक्रम से विदेश में वक्तृता प्रदान करचना मध्य पचिश खंड उपन्यास रही मडर्ण फिक्शन कह कह ना आस प्रथम होती स्वर्गत गोपीनाथ महां पचिश खंड उपन्यास दुईश रु अधिक क्षुद्र गल्प एक अनवेद्य आत्मजीवनी तीन जीवनी तीनो नाटक एक अन्य साहित्य समालोचना दुईट कव्य पांच टी अनुवाद पुस्तक आदिवासी भाषा संपर्क पांच टी पुस्तक शारदा महाभारत विषय नौटी गवेषणा प्रबंध 
एवं प्राय तीस टी चिठी को नहीं खंडे पुस्तक से प्रकाश कर लेखा गुड़िक साधारण लोक आदिवासी गाँ गहल लोक जनजातिर लोक सरल निष्कपट जीवन धारण आदि को नहीं रचना होता है यह बहुत समृद्ध मध्य आपने जानते जो मैंने पढ़ी से जानते ओडार गर्व जैसे ओडिया हिसाब से प्रथम ओडिया हिसाब से ज्ञानपीठ पुरस्कार पाई लेखा मान ओडिया अन्न्य भाषा इतिम्धर अनुवाद कर लोकप्रियता हासिल कर प्रमुख रचना बड़ी जो प्रबोध हो टे चुंबक कहते भर आज मानव मुख्यमंत्री ट्विट कि लिखिंट ता भर कि मुझे अमृतर सतान हरिजन दानापाणी परजा दादी बुड़ा लय विलय मटी मटाड़ जान कामा बुंदाए पा आदि उपन्यास नवबधु उड़ंता खई गुप्त गंगा तीन काल आदि गल्प संकलन स्रोतस्वती आत्मजीवनी दिंपज्योति उत्कलमणि जीवनी मुक्तिपथे महापुरुष नाटक बाया बक प्रेमर नियति युड़ सब प्रबंध भितर प्रमुख ये गुड़ा कौच अनुवाद मध्य भारत आज और का बुझा मन कथा भारती युद्ध और शांति से मध्य लिओ टलस्टाइन जो प्रसिद्ध ऋषिय जी लेखक थे जो पुस्तक थी वार एंड पीस ओडिया भाषातर करते परजा दानापणी लय विलय दादी बुड़ा आदि उपन्यास जो आज मानव मुख्यमंत्री ट्विटर मुझे देखुले ये गुड़ी ही मेनसन कर उपन्यास इंग्राजी भाषा में अनुवादित आई जो परजा दानापणी लय विलय दादी बुड़ा मुख्यतः आम गाँ ग लोकं चलीचलन संस्कृति प्रथा जीवन जापन प्रणाली को नहीं पर्यवेक्षित तेणु से भाया महापुरुष आज हूँ पुण्यतिथि तेना आज आसवा आम समस्ते ये शपथ नेवा भाया महान पुरुष आदर्श में आम अनुप्राणित होगा आहरी कौन कर गोपीनाथ महां फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट आम सहित आलोचना करे बोले ओंकार बाबू आम कथा होलु तेणु साहित्य एकाडेमी समस्त प्रकार सहयोग देव बोली आम ये प्रतिश्रुति दौ आम विभाग तक समस्त प्रकार सहयोग देव बोली मुझे प्रतिश्रुति दौर मानव मुख्यमंत्री और मानव मंत्री आमको जमी निर्देश देखकर जमी नक्सा प्रस्तुत करने आम कही से ही रास्त आम चलू एवं यही महापुरुष य महामनीषी मान समस्त कलाकृति को आम यही जेनेसन जो पिला मैंने आज का जेनेसन जो मैंने पिला अच्छा आम पाने समस्त पिला जो मैंने पढ़ाऊँ इंग्लीश मीडियम स्कूल को पसंद कर जानी ओडिया उपन्यास कि ओडिया गल्प कि प्रबंध कि साहित्यिक मान विषय से मैंने जापार कि नहीं तेणु आम एवं गोटे भल जिन भी आरंभ करें नाटक कर फकीर मोहन व्यासकवि फकीर मोहन नाटक होता जीवन तो जीवन शैली गोटे नाटक करते संगीत नाटक एकाडेमी कवि सम्राट उपेन्द्र भंजों पर गोटे नाटक कर स्वभाव कवि गंगाधर मेहर को ऊपर गोटे नाटक कराई थी तेनाली तो नाटक आम रवींद्र मंडप प्रदर्शन करूँ मुझे जॉन कर ली नवेबर में मोर मन पड़ती डिसेम्बर लास्ट बेलू से आम देख लु भरपूर लोक मैंने मजा नहीं प्रशंसा करेणु से ही जिनसा आम नाटक मध्यम बर्तमान चेषा करद्यालय और महाविद्यालय स्तर में जो पिला मैंने आज का जमान जो पिला मैंने से मैंने इंटरनेट जमान पिला व गुगुल जमान पिला मैंने जो मैंने कि भेरी क्विकली सब जिन जाणी परीक्षा लिखिक नंबर पाइक आई टी को जातु कि जुआडे जातु कैरियर ग्रोथ और इजी व्वे से मैंने कमी कम हम से जानते कि जो लेखक मान जो लेखा अच्छी जो महापुरुष मैंने अच्छा विषय में जानापी ये समय नहीं आम जमी व्यस्त रोचे से व्यस्त रोच तेनाली नाटक आम देखा कथा आम जो उत्तर पीढ़ी अच्छा आम ओडार जो भविष्य जहाँ को आगे कह आम समस्त दिना ना दिन आम बयस आसूसी तेणु जो पाने आगामी दिन में ओडा को आगू ने गठन से विशेष भूमिका ग्रहण करेंगे से ही पिला मान या महामनीषी मान महापुरुष मान जीवन जीवन शैली कलाकृति को आने लोकलोचन को आने निकट में पहुँचापी आम विभाग बर्तमान विभिन्न योजना रखुची एवं योजना प्रस्तुत करुँच आम विद्यालय एवं महाविद्यालय आपको जमी नहीं प्रचार प्रसार करूँ बर्तमान चेषा करुचु साहित्य संपादन करूँ विद्यालय गुड़िक महाविद्यालय चेषा करुचु तेणु मु बहुत खुशी जो यही कार्यक्रम आज जो आयोजन कराऊँगी जदि ये जो नाच गीतर कार्यक्रम होती मंटू छुरी कौटी नाचुच्छे पांच लक्ष दस लक्ष लोक जाऊँ रास्ता जाम हो 
कौन से जगह जो बलीउड स्टार आसिक नाचुं तमर ओडिया लोक पूरा भर्ती हो जाऊँ चार डट फेस देखी थे पास पास लगे सब पगल हो जाए हकी पड़े आम डट फेस चलता कि कार्यक्रम होती संख्याधिक लोक आम जी आशा कर हाथ गणती शहे देश दुईश भितर लोक रोच तेनालीटा को आमको यहाँ गोटे आमपाई गोटे आह्वान या को आमको विचार करने पड़ो जो ये कार्यक्रम में कमी अधिका लोक अंशग्रहण करेंगे ओडापी जे किसी कर किसी अवदान अच्छी ताकि भल पाइबा हूँ प्रत्येक ओडिया मुख्य कर्तव्य तेनाली तो महापुरुष मान को जी कि शुण्वा विषय जाणवा एवं आम उत्तर पीढ़ी मान को बतैवा निज पिला बतैवा नेक्स्ट जेनेसन को कहवा तालोले आम साहित्य समृद्ध हे आम भाषा एमती भी समृद्ध भाषा तेणु शास्त्रीय मान्यता मिल सारी तेणु आम को किपर भाव में ओडिया भाषा और ओडिया साहित्य को आगक नवाक पड़ो से ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी सदा सर्वदा चेष्टा कर प्रचेषा को सम्मान जनाऊँ प्रशंसा करूँगी एवं आम विभाग तरफ आपण मानकर यहाँ कार्यक्रम आसी अल्प हेले जो लोक मैंने आज गुणी ज्ञानी लोक ये बस चुटी जन्म सामने बस समस्त को नमस्कार करम कार्यक्रम अंश ग्रहण कर आपको सफल कर सरस सुंदर करश्चित भाव जी आज मुख्य आकर्षण मुख्य वक्ता आपने शुणे तेणु ओडिया भाषार जय होड़िया साहित्यर जय हो जगन्नाथ आम समस्त शक्ति दिंतु आम संस्कृति जय हो आम ओडिया भारी बढ़िया ये उक्ति सहित मोर वक्तव्य शेष करुच्चे उत्कल ओडिया भाषा साहित्य संस्कृति विभाग अतिरिक्त मुख्य शासन सचिव माननीय श्रीयुक्त सत्यव्रत स्वामी उदयंदर ये प्रेरणापूर्ण संबोधन पर आम कृतज्ञता नवेदन करुँ मानव मुख्यमंत्री महोदय निर्देश क्रमे आ विशेष कार्यक्रम अन्न जगह अपेक्षित थोड़ा कार्यक्रम सामान्य पर जानती आम विशेष भाव कृतज्ञता नवेदन कर मंच कृतज्ञता नवेदन करता सत्व आमको समय दे माननीय अध्यक्ष गोपीनाथ महांति प्रति श्रद्धार्पण करा साहित्य अकाडेमी तरफ गोपीनाथ महांति फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट तरफ कृतज्ञता अर्पण कर मेलानी देखु माननीय श्रीयुक्त सत्यव्रत साहु महोदय को मंच उपस्थित रही प्रफेसर ओंकारनाथ महांति महोदय आपंती देश सुप्रसिद्ध वैज्ञानिक भाव प्रतीत रही मेटालोर्जी समग्र जाति अंतर्जा स्तर में जो गवेषणा रही विभिन्न कर्पोरेट हाउस रे से डायरेक्टर भाव कार्य कर विपिओटी कुलपति भाव कृतित्व रही डर गोपीनाथ महांती मेमोरियाल ट्रस्ट अध्यक्ष भाव विशेष मार्गदर्शन एक समावेश आयोजन हो पारि आम प्रफेसर ओंकारनाथ महांती भारत वर्षर कृत विद्या सन्धान को आपण मान करतालि शुभेच्छा जन नवेदन करवाद तेज बाबू समस्त को शुभ सन्ध्या आज आम समस्ते एकत्रित व्यक्तित्व जे आम किंबदंती साहित्यक गोपीनाथ महांती शहे नौतम जन्मतिथि शुभ जन्मतिथि आपण मान समस्त मु अभिनंदन जन आज ये जो सम्मान्य अतिथि मंचासीन आम मुख्य अतिथि तथा तो मंत्री महोदय एवं अन्य सुधीवृंद विशेषकर आम मुख्य आकर्षक आकर्षण आज सन्धार प्रफेसर डर सुखात चौधरी महोदय उपस्थित अच्छा एवं मंच सामना रे मो सामना रे बस अनेक सुधीवृंद विशेषकर ओडार गर्व एवं गौरव प्रफेसर देवी प्रसन्न पट्टनायक ये उपस्थित अच्छा आम आपण मान समस्त पुणी थे आम गहन को स्वागत जनाऊँगी आम जाचे जे ये जो मैंने उपस्थित अच्छा से मैंने समस्ते गोपीनाथ साहित्यर अनुरागी और गुणमुग्ध गोपीनाथ महांती जे समाज दुर्बल श्रेणीर मनीषाई लेखनी चलना एवं आदिवासी दुनिया को आपण मान सागे आमर एपटर समाज बोली कहुता परिचित एवं विश्व दरबार में ओडिया साहित्य को नहीं उपस्थापन करोपीनाथ महांती जहाँ को नहीं आज 
आम समस्ते आपण मैंने समस्ते आम गर्वित आम तरप आज एकाठी होचे कही रखे जे उन्नीस सौ बयानबे रु ये अनुष्ठान कार्य कर आरंभ कर गोपीनाथ महां ट्रस्ट उन्नीस एकानबे अगस्ट कोड़े तारीख दिन शरीर त्याग करते सुदूर कालीफर्णिया गोपीनाथ महां एवं तापर ठू उ बयान मसीह आमर आरंभ है गोपीनाथ महां स्मारकी वक्तृतार पर्याय दुईहजार बार मसीह ओडा सरकार एवं गोपीनाथ महां फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट आम एकाठी हो ये अनुष्ठान को आगे नेलु तेणु सर्वप्रथम ओडा सरकार तथा ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी को मध्य गोपीनाथ महां फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट पक्ष आम आंतरिक कृतज्ञता ज्ञापन करी एवं दुई हजार बार रु एपर्यंत आम एकाठी कम कर सो बतीस जन साहित्यिक लेखक एवं गवेषक एमं डकाई से मानक भितर सारा भारत बर्षर विभिन्न भाषाभाषी अंचल आसी अत्यंत विज्ञ लोक सब ये बतीस जन भाई एक्चुअली बतीस नुह एक तीस गोटे वर्ष बंद कॉविड पर आम कर पड़ा एवं एम भर युआ रणंत मूर्ति एपर्यंत अर्थात प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी पर्यत विभिन्न भाषाभाषी कन्नाडु आमिलनाडु आलुगु राज्य आंगदेश तो सहजे आ विभिन्न जगह आस तेणु आम उद्देश्य था ओडिया साहित्य एवं प्रतिवेशी साहित्य भितर गोटे सेतु प्रतिष्ठा कर दिगरे के दूर आम सफलता पाई कहींपर ना कारण तार सफलतार विभिन्न मानदंड पाए कि गोटाए कथा निश्चित जो गोपीनाथ महां स्मारक वक्तृत अंत तो भाग नाई विभिन्न प्रदेश जो मैंने आसी आमर तेणु जो पर वृद्धि होभिन्न जगार सीए रामचंद्र गुहा हूँ कि गत थर प्रोफेसर जान रेज आंतर्जात ख्याति संपन्न इकोनोमिस्ट हूँ कि एवर प्रोफेसर सुखान चौधरी हूँ ए समस्त जरिया तेणु गोपीनाथ महां ओडिया साहित्य प्रतिवेशी साहित्य भितर आम गोटे जोग सूत्र स्थापन करने को चेषा कर मन थी गत थर प्रोफेसर जान रेज दि आदिवासी मान भर रही वक्तृता थी आदिवासी मान जीवन तेणुता वक्तृतार शीर्षक था आदिवासी वे अफ लाइफ ए रिलिक अफ दि पास्ट और ए वे फरवर्ड एथर प्रोफेसर सुकांत चौधरी शीर्षक हूँ भारी इंटरेस्टिंग शीर्षक हूँ टैगोर एंड टयलेन्स तेणु जी प्रत्येक दिन जी श्रमिक जे नीति दिन खटी जी तक जीवन जीवन को से आगे निये से गोटे कौन कर टागोर लिखिंट से विषय आज आम शुणा अर्थात आदिवासी दुनिया श्रमिक मान संघर्ष कर नीति दिन जीवा को संघर्ष कर मनीष एम कौन कर टागोर से विषय आज से कहे अर्थात आदिवासी एवं श्रमिक ये उभय विषय गत थर एवं एथर आम शुणा खाली मु मात्र दि तीन मिनिट ये पे कह ए वक्तृता मोर आरंभ करवा कथा छटा पैंचाश बर्तमान साढ़े सात बाजे तेणु आउ दुई मिनिट कह मुठू मोर वक्तृता शेष करी जहाँ कह कथा वक्तव्य एक हूँ जे गत प्राय पंदर वर्ष भितर आम गोटे वेबसाइट करोध करी जे गोपीनाथ महां फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट पक्ष जो वेबसाइट कर तार से गोपीनाथ महां डट आई एन एच टी टी पी डब्ल्यू स्ट्रोक इत्यादि तो निश्चय रोपीनाथ महां डट आई एन से आदि जाती तो देखिए ये जिनस देखिए तेपन खंडी बही जहाँ प्रस्तुत हो प्रकाशित होगुड़ी से पढ़ी पारे एवं छिडो से अच्छी देखिपर गोटे हूँ गोटे डक्यूमेट्री तर गए डक्यूमेट्री से अच्छी जोटा स्वर्गत पृथ्वीराज मिश्र कर छब्स मिनिट डक्यूमेट्री अच्छी या छड़ा गोपीनाथ महां स्टाफोर्ड यूनिवर्सीटे गोपीनाथ महां सानोजे स्टेट यूनिवर्सीटी ओडा सोसाइट अफ आमेरिका इत्यादि इत्यादि जहाँ वक्तृत्व आमेरिकार देते से गुड़िक सब से संगृहत हो रही आप देखिपर तेणु यहाँ देखिए ये कहूँ 
ଏଇ ଗତ କେତେ ଦିନ ତଳେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ମୁଁ ଦେଖିଲି ଇଣ୍ଟରନେଟ୍ କୁ ଯାଇକି ଆପଣ ମାନେ ମଧ୍ୟ ଦେଖିପାରିବେ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ବୋଲି ଖାଲି ମାରିଦେବେ ଆପଣ କ୍ଲିକ୍ କରିବେ ତାହେଲେ ଆପଣ ଦେଖିବେ ତାହେଲେ ଆପଣ ଦେଖିବେ ଯେ ଅନେକ ଆପଣଙ୍କ ପାଖକୁ ଆସିଯିବ ପ୍ରାୟ ପଚାଶ ଷାଠିଏ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତିଙ୍କ ଉପରେ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ଆପଣ ଦେଖିବେ ତା ତାକୁ ଯଦି ଆପଣ ପଢ଼ିବେ ଆପଣ ଆଶ୍ଚର୍ଯ୍ୟ ହେଇଯିବେ ଯେ ତାଙ୍କ ବିଷୟରେ କିମ୍ଭୂତ କିମ୍ବାକାର ଯାହା ସବୁ ତା ଭିତରେ ଇନଫର୍ମେସନ୍ ରହିଛି ଅର୍ଥାତ୍ ଯାହାକୁ ଆମେ ଆଇ ଟି ରିଭଲ୍ୟୁସନ୍ ବୋଲି କହୁଛେ ସେ ଆଇ ଟି ରିଭଲ୍ୟୁସନ୍ ଭିତରେ ଡିଷ୍ଟର୍ଟେଡ୍ ନ୍ୟୁଜ୍ ଦେ ଆର୍ ଅଲ୍ ଦେ ଆର୍ ଏଗେନ୍ସ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ତେଣୁ ଏଇଟା ଗୋଟାଏ ବଡ଼ ଆଶ୍ଚର୍ଯ୍ୟଜନକ ଜିନିଷ ଯେଉଁଟା ସାରା ପୃଥିବୀରେ ଏଇଆ ହେଉଛି ତେଣୁ ସେଇଥିପାଇଁ ମୁଁ କହିଲି ଯଦି ଆପଣ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ଡଟ୍ ଆଇଏନ୍ କୁ ଯିବେ ଯେଉଁଥିରେ ଆମେ ଯେଉଁ ଜିନିଷ ଗୁଡ଼ା ଦେଇଛୁ ଯାହା କରାହେଇଛି ଅର୍ଥାତ୍ ଯେଉଁ ବହି ସେ ଲେଖିନାହାନ୍ତି ସେ ବହି ବିଷୟରେ ଅଛି ବହୁତ ଜାଗାରେ ଆପଣ ଦେଖିବେ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ତାଙ୍କ ସାରା ଜୀବନ କୋରାପୁଟରେ ବିତେଇ ଦେଲେ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ତାଙ୍କର ଯେତକ ଲେଖା ସବୁ ଆଦିବାସୀ ଜୀବନ ଉପରେ ତାଙ୍କର ହେଇଗଲା ଅର୍ଥାତ୍ ଏଇଭଳି ଅନେକ ଆଇଡିଆ ଆପଣ ସେଉଠୁ ପାଇବେ ତେଣୁ ସେ ତାକୁ ଆପଣ ଯଦି ପଢ଼ିବେ ତାହେଲେ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତିଙ୍କ ଉପରେ ଆପଣଙ୍କର ଯାହା ଆପଣ ଇନଫର୍ମେସନ୍ ପାଇବେ ସେଇଟା ଠିକ୍ ହବ ନାହିଁ ସେ ହେଲା ଗୋଟିଏ କଥା ଆଉ ଗୋଟେ କଥା ହେଉଛି ଆଇ ଥିଙ୍କ ଦିସ୍ ଟାଇମ୍ ଆଇ ୱିଲ୍ ବ୍ରେକ୍ ଇନ୍ ଟୁ ଇଂଲିଶ ନାଉ ଫର ଦ ନେକ୍ସଟ ୱାନ୍ ମିନିଟ୍ ଅର୍ ସୋ I must express my gratitude to Professor Sukanta Choudhury for several reasons but one of them I think which I consider utmost and most important is because when I spoke to Professor Choudhury from Delhi the other night it was evening and we were not known to each other and I went and telling him that Gopinath Mahanti we have actually formulated or constituted such a lecture series and I went and telling him that these were our lecture speakers previously and I mentioned a few names including very important names from bengal <laughs> and i still ca- cannot forget the fact that professor choudhury told me you don't need to add names to add luster to gopinath mahanti he shines by himself so that means that is how we were introduced <laughs> that is how we were introduced and i knew we are going to face a person i never met him earlier on and i knew that we are going to make a face a person who is modest to the core and you will hear that and see him when you actually listen to him with these words i think i have spoken enough and uh, my request therefore would be whatever the secretary said they are very important that the, the department and the ministry is doing a lot of things but it is you who are important today for the first time mu dekhi paru che thi onek yuva pidhi ra upasthit achanti jhe ebong puo sei ta mote khub khushi douchi je apan mane hi eku ଓଡ଼ିଆ ସାହିତ୍ୟକୁ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ସାହିତ୍ୟକୁ ଆଗକୁ ନେବେ ଆମ ବୟସର ଲୋକ ଆଉ ନୁହେଁ ବତିଶ ବର୍ଷ ହେଲାଣି ଆମେ ଯାହା କଲୁଣି ଏଠି ଅନେକ ଲୋକ ସାମ୍ନାରେ ଏଠି ବସିଥିଲେ ସେମାନେ ଆଉ ନାହାନ୍ତି ଚାଲିଗଲେଣି ତେଣୁ ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତିଙ୍କୁ ଯଦି ଆପଣ ଭଲ ପାଉଥିବେ ତାଙ୍କ ଫଟୋକୁ କେବଳ ଫୁଲମାଳ ଦେଇ ରଖିଲେ ଯଥେଷ୍ଟ ହେବ ନାହିଁ ଆପଣମାନେ ପଢ଼ନ୍ତୁ ଆଉ ଗୋଟିଏ କଥା ତାଙ୍କର ବହି ଅନେକ ଭାଷାରେ ଅନୁଦିତ ହୋଇଛି ଏଥର ଯେଉଁ ନୂଆ ବହି ତାଙ୍କର ଅନୁଦିତ ହୋଇଛି ସେଟା ହେଲା ପ୍ରଫେସର Uh, Linde Mauricio Linde from Granada University in Spain he is the one who has brought out actually Paraja in Spanish and when i saw a spanish professor choudhury the spanish i didn't know that next only to chinese it is higher than the english speaking world of the native spanish which is spanish which is spoken which is what actually pleased me most because paraja when it is translated into spanish which means it is exposed to the spanish world so 3/4 of uh, the latin america and europe also speak spanish so that is one and secondly um, one of his collections of short stories jana hochi oblivion and other stories seta calcutta ra boi mela or that book fair re it was also released au uh, seta penguin chapi chanti se eboli onek tankar bahi ei bhitre ei gotha khatma bhitre bahuchi eti kahi mu bidan hochi apan man ko pun thar dhanyabad jo man eti ka asi chanti ebong ame samaste opekha karichu ଯେ ଆମର ଚାଳିଶ ମିନିଟ୍ ଲେଟ୍ ହେଇଗଲାଣି ବିଳମ୍ବରେ ଯେ ପ୍ରଫେସର ଚୌଧୁରୀଙ୍କ ବକ୍ତୃତା ଆମେ ଶୁଣିବା ମୃତ୍ୟୁଞ୍ଜୟ ବାବୁ ଆପଣ ଆଗକୁ ନେଇଯାଆନ୍ତୁ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମ ଧନ୍ୟବାଦ ପ୍ରଫେସର ଓଙ୍କାରନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ମହୋଦୟଙ୍କ ନିକଟରେ ଆମେ କୃତଜ୍ଞତା ନିବେଦନ କରିବୁ ଡକ୍ଟର ଗୋପୀନାଥ ମହାନ୍ତି ମେମୋରିଆଲ ଟ୍ରଷ୍ଟର ଅଧ୍ୟକ୍ଷ ଭାବରେ ତାଙ୍କର ଅଭିଭାଷଣ ଉପସ୍ଥାପନ କରିଛନ୍ତି ଏବଂ ଏଭଳି ଏକ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟକ୍ରମର ଅନ୍ତରାଳରେ ଯେଉଁ ଉଦ୍ଦେଶ୍ୟ ରହିଛି ସେ ସମ୍ପର୍କରେ ଆମ ସମସ୍ତଙ୍କୁ ମଧ୍ୟ ଅବଧାରଣା ଦେଇଛନ୍ତି
विपुल आदृति लाभ करुच्छी आज से गरिमामय उपस्थित बयान करवाद देव गवेषक बंधु मान जुवपीढ़ीर से सारस्वत साधक मानक ए अवसर में आज झाई आम समस्त प्रतीक्षा रही आम प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी महोदय को आज स्मारक वक्तृता प्रदान करने वरण्य अतिथि भाव में पाई एवं आप जानते प्रेसीडेन्सी कलेज कोलकतारु अक्सफोर्ड विश्वविद्यालय लंडन पर्यटन जहां पथ एवं पृथ्वी विशेष भाव प्रलम्बित जादवपुर विश्वविद्यालय प्रफेसर एमिरेटस भाव में जहां कृतित्व विभिन्न विश्वविद्यालय गुड़िक रही जो रवींद्रनाथ टैगोर साहित्य कृति को नहीं बहुविध साधना मध्यम बहुविध अनुशीलन मध्यम से जो भी विभिन्न विश्वविद्यालय निजर वक्तव्य रखी आसी रवींद्र तत्वाचार्य भाव जी विशेष भाव में संबोधित हो आसी रवींद्रनाथ टागोर सारस्वत कृतित्व भितर सारस्वत कृति गुड़िक भितर जो भी भाव में साधारण जनजीवन स्वर एवं स्वाक्षर सुस्पष्ट था अनुरूप भाव डक्टर गोपीनाथ महांती साहित्य साधना भितर तार एक प्रतिफलन बारी हो जाए तार भितर एक सामग्रिक कृति को नहीं तार भितर एक अनुशीलन एवं तार भितर एक तुलनात्मक अध्ययन मध्यम निजर वक्तव्य को उपस्थापन कर आम समस्त को विशेष भाव में डक्टर गोपीनाथ महांती साहित्य मनस्क करने आज ये जड़े कृत विद्या सारस्वत साधक जन गवेषक जन विशिष्ट प्रफेसर को आम आम गहन पाई आपण मान विपुल करता अभिवादन जन आम प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी महोदय को नवेदन करूँ आसर को संबोधित करने स्मारक वक्तव्य प्रदान करने begin with some thanks and then some apologies the thanks of course to two organizations the gopinath bhavanti foundation trust who have been overwhelming me with hospitality from the moment i landed in bhubaneswar yesterday i cannot thank them enough not only for the honor of the invitation but for the you know the you know the exceptionally warm cordial and sincere way in which they made me feel at home with their program and I must congratulate them on their program which is that through all these years they have kept going not only this lecture series but also many other activities including setting up this website which they are now uh, trying to greatly uh, to develop much further and we had some discussion about that yesterday uh, i associated with a similar uh, center in uh, in jaipur university in kolkata if there is any i mean we cannot help you very much because there is nobody at our end who knows the odia language but if there is any way in which we can help you set up this this astonishingly promising center their website then that helps us actually and of course my thanks also to the Odisha Shaikh Academy for all the trouble they have taken to organize this event, for inviting me and for making me feel at home. Thank you both very much. Apologies, now I suppose I do not need to apologize for not speaking in Odia. I mean, I visit Odisha quite often. I have family links with Odisha. My mother, in fact, was born in Odisha in Kotak, but. Uh, Unfortunately, I cannot speak in Odia, uh, but uh, as this, the purpose of this lecture series seems to be to invite people from outside Odisha. I suppose all or most of them did not speak in Odia either. But two other apologies. No, but yeah, uh, it's It would be an insult to the Odia language if they are able to speak in Bengali. That is, let's at least English is a language which is equally distant to both of us, all of us. Okay, but I cannot, in the year 2023, I cannot impose the Bengali language on an audience in Odisha. That would be impertinent. Uh, two apologies. One, well, I won't be much of it, but I have to speak sitting down. I have a problem standing up to speak for an hour. The other one is also just an apology, but it's called more a warning. Uh, my lecture is starting about 40 minutes late. My lecture will occupy about one hour. 
Now, it is of course customary to begin any memorial lecture by saying something about the person in whose memory the lecture is being held. And well, in one respect, it is all too easy with as famous a name as Kobina Kovanti. In another respect, it is also a daunting prospect. What new thing can I say about him? After what all of, all of you know, you belong to Kovanti's language community, to his state, and much has been said about him already. So I will not repeat what all or most of you probably know better than I do. Rather, my tribute to his memory before I start my proper paper will be to demonstrate his affinity in spirit with the still greater literary genius with whom I'll be talking today, Rabindranath Tagore. Um, I say, you know, what made me at all think of this subject in connection with Gopinath Mohan? The connection is in a sense obvious, but still, let me just spell it out as an introduction. See, one of the most impressive short stories I have ever read is Gopinath Mohanty's story whose title is translated as Acts. Now, towards the end, this is uh, how that story goes in uh, the uh, uh, Shitakat translation. The market was coming to a close. Men were moving. That is Ramesh, the uh, central character of the story. He felt he knew everybody, all these people personally. Pressures of wants at home, oppression of life outside, and yet they move on. Caste and language did not matter. They were men. His villages, familiar men, in an unending stream, an ant looked up to other ants. An ineffable smile flowed from its dried up eyes, even as it seemed to say, we are brothers. We walk on our feet. We work on with our hands. We belong to the same land, this ancient earth under the sky. Our enemy is common. Those that snatch away the little food from our mouths, crush us to death, and heap hot ashes and cinders on us. And then right at the end, there is this passage. Ramesh kept standing. This is the important part. For him, there was no more history. There was no Kokilendale, no Purushottava, no Kanak. There was no special distinctive image of the men who formed the backbone of a country or a nation. They were in History was devoid of meaning. There was nothing but ants, ants, everywhere, hungry ants carrying mouthfuls of food in the struggle for survival, and the stream of ants converging on ant heaps. Yet another explanation. History was devoid of meaning. See, when the daily toil and suffering of humankind that you see before your eyes becomes so immediate, so striking, so pressing, that any greater pattern fades away. To see the greater pattern, you have to move back. But you cannot move back because these people are dead in front of you, right before your eyes. Now, this sense that history is devoid of meaning, you very briefly cite two passages from Rabindranath, where he says this. One is from an essay in this prose collection, Kalantar, an essay called Choto Oporo. He describes the condition of two young boys in the Shantanikat Rastra. Uh, they were from a fairly well to do family, but by a terrible disaster, all the men folk of the family died within a very short space. So the women and the children were left practically without any means of support. So, of course, Rubindranath arranged for these boys to continue studying at uh, the Astrum without having to pay their fees and so on. But that was, could not solve the problem of poverty with the entire family. And then, says Rabindranath, when I see the boys before me, I feel reluctant to talk of patience, of love, of steadfast adherence to virtue, of faith in the God of all humanity. That kind of suffering and deprivation shakes his faith in the God of all humanity. The other passage is even more striking. It's a poem. It's a poem for Hakira Thakpacha, it's a poem about a subject which we do not, let us say we, because we want to stay within our comfort zone. We prefer not to associate such subjects with Rabindranath. But of course, Rabindranath has written about it. It is a poem about a young girl who has been raped and murdered. 
And this is what he says at the end of that poem, after hearing the news of this temple event. All scriptural godliness like dust blows by. No help, no remedy resounds across the sky. And I quote a few lines of my God from time to time that this was one of the first of them. Shastramana asti kata dhulote jai ure upaye nai le nai pradika maji akash See, this very problem which is challenged to one's faith, to one's intellectual organization of life, which Gobindad Mahanti was reflecting in the story that acts, Gobindad faced it. How did he face it? And what part, if any, did he see out of it? That is the subject of my paper. Now, when discussing these matters, we normally talk about his prose works, his essays, certain novels like Ora, uh, Kore Baile, Chagot Thai, maybe one or two plays like Mukta Dhara and Dr. Koromi. We do not, as a rule, think about his poetry. But in fact, he began discussing these matters the suffering, the exploitation of the common men, of poverty, and of the disorder of the world, earlier in his poetry than in his prose. As far back as 1890, which, when, which is the year of really the first major work of his poems, to say the first work where Rabindranath really becomes Rabindranath, that is the collection Madhushi. Now, Manushi, as the title indicates, the principal vein of these poems is romantic and idealistic in the philosophic sense. But it contains several pieces of sharp political satire. Twenty years later, in 1910, Gitanjali, talk about the original Bengali volume called Gitanjali. We view Gitanjali as the epitome of Tagore's spirituality, at least an early phase of spirituality. Uh, but the volume contains not only the classic vision of history in the poem which is generally referred to as Haroddhita, but also his searing indictment of the traditional inequalities of Indian society, above all as embodied in the caste system, in the poem beginning, In between, there is the volume Noibento, which has several poems uh, in these lines, I'll talk to some of them later on. But let me now cite one of these poems. A poem that he writes on the last day of the 19th century, on 31st December 1900, at sunset. And the poem begins with Shatabdi Shud Jivaji Ostagala Rakhta Bekmaji. He sees the setting sun of the last day of the 19th century, its blood red aspect imaging the state of the world, the violence and disorder engulfing the world from the impact of militant national imperialism. This was to become a great theme of his prose writings, culminating, culminating in his last testament, that speech uh, uh, delivered at Chantikatun in 1941, called Shokota Shokot. In fact, he couldn't deliver it to birth. He was ill, it was dead out by somebody else. But there is no notable prose work where this theme of Shokota Shokot appears earlier than in this poem written on the 31st December 1900. Even before Manushi, Rabindranath had begun voice of the paradox. The ultimate unhappiness of a life of perfect happiness. The burden of a state of narrow, self-absorbed well-being, even in heaven. As early as 1881, in his second book of poems, for Shonda there's a poem called Tarokar Aktabhatta, the suicide of the star. A star in heaven, perfectly happy. But it commits suicide because it cannot tolerate its perfect happiness. After that, there is still more memorable expression in an 1895 poem called Shodgo Hote Vida, from Heaven, where a blessed soul in heaven says it does not want to remain in heaven anymore. It wants to come down to this imperfect earth and be reborn among human beings, among their sorrows as well as their joys. And the same volume in which this poem appears, Chitra, 1895, sorry, the volume appeared in 1896, uh, powerfully recounts the pervasive, unvoiced suffering of common humanity in the poem called Ibar Pirao Poli. And if you allow me, this is another passage I will quote in the Bengali. 
কোথা হতে ধ্বনি চেকন্দনে শূন্য ধ কোন অন্ধকার মাঝে জর্জর বন্ধনে অনাথিনী মাহিসে সহায় স্ফীতকায় অপমান অক্ষমের মুখ্য হতে রক্ত শুচি করিতেছে পান লক্ষ্য মুখ দিয়া বেদনারে করিতেছে পরিহাস স্বার্থত অবিচার সংকুচিত ভীত কৃতদাস লুকাইছে ছদ্মবেশে ওই যে তারায় নতশী মুখ সব লাল মুখে লেখা শুধু শত শতাব্দী বেদনার করুণ স্ট্যান্ডিং উইথ পাওয়ার হেডস a silent crowd long centuries tales of pain written on their faded faces but one thing needs to say here however powerful these accounts may be they are also very generalized it's talking about humanity as a whole or oppressed humanity as a whole not particular cases the details are not specific or even for the most part literal but of a kind of total metaphor for the human condition Something very different happens in another volume which came out in the same year, 1896. 1896 Chitra, where these poems are being quoted, they appear. The same year sees another volume called Choitali. Choitali is very different. It presents the lives of common people in individual details, specific scenes, events, people. These poems were composed during the summer stay in the place called Potisha. On his family property in Eastern Bengal. As we all know, at this time, Prabhupada was spending much time on his family property on the river Padma, especially in two places, Shilaidava and Putishwar. And there, Prabhupada could observe the lives of the humble rural community at close quarters. Some of the pieces of Chaitanya are simple descriptions of village scenes and inhabitants. Many others provide a critique of that life, however, understated at times. Early in the volume, there are three pieces Devotar Vidai, Kundir Ishar, and Boyakur, all making the same point that life in the world, in contact with humanity and sharing its joys and sorrows, is spiritually superior to a removed ascetic life. But I won't talk about those poems. I will talk about three lesser known poems. Again, a trial. Three poems that come together. Three pieces called Didi, Porichoy, and Anantopati. In these three little poems, short poems, the poet describes a little girl from a poor laboring family. The mother has to go to work, so the little girl is left tackling all the family duties, see, uh, washing the dishes, uh, washing the clothes, and at the same time looking after a little brother. That remarkable line which Rabindranath has here again, that you quote the original Bengali. Karma bharo avanato poti choto didi. This little girl is too small to be a baby, and it has to be. In the last of these pieces, which is called Ananta uh, that the poet is about to return home to Kolkata, as is the little girl to her North Indian village. And the poet wonders how she will grow up, what will become of her, in what unknown village, in what far land, in whose home will she become a bride, then a mother, and then the end. Then this little girl's room taking her. Nothing is said outright. Nothing is rhetorically urged. But between the lines, a sensitive reader will capture many messages about rural poverty and the degraded quality of life, child labor, lack of education, the closed life of ordinary Indian women. Chaitanya also contains that understated but searing poem called Kormo, of which Rabindranath himself has translation. Where one day the servant is late coming for work, he frets and fumes when the servant comes. It's a tremendous fire. The servant quietly listens to all this and bows head, bow head. And this is just one line. Sir, last night, my little girl died. Having said that, he then takes up his implements and starts about his work. Just six weeks after this poem, Cornwall, Rabindranath wrote one of the most celebrated of his exposures of rural exploitations and tyranny under the Zamindari system, Dui Bikhajumi. But it is worth recalling in this context that, after all, Rabindranath himself came of a land of living family. Okay. He was there in Shilaida and Potisha looking after his family estates. And even with such enlightened people as the Tagore family, no 
will know Zahinda could ever be an entirely benevolent Zahinda. Not even the devils. Let me just cite one uh, episode as an illustration. See, it is about somebody who we often recall in the context of Tagore. Completely different context. Lalan Bukhi, the great Baul singer. Um, he actually lived in Kushtia district in the, on the Tagore's own estate, on Tagore's own estates. Uh, they were third Tagore estates. Probably Rabindranath never met him directly. Rabindranath imbibed the songs of Lalan from Lalan's disciple Gogol Horkara, who was the postman, the Horkara of Shilayo. But Rabindranath's elder brother, Jyoti Rabindranath, met uh, Lalan, drew uh, uh, a sketch, which is the only portrait of Lalan which has come down to us. But this is a different kind of story. You see, the Kushtia district was also the center of the man who is always referred to as Kanal Horinath, you know, the, the poor, the destitute Horinath, the pauper Horinath, Horinath Mujumda, who led this very spartan life, hence the name Kanal. And he ran this uh, rural journal or magazine, see, on Gram Bhakta Prakashika. Uh, Prakash. And then, of course, he exposed much of the poverty, the exploitation, the injustice the journey of village life. And he had, I mean, among his, uh, the, the young people working in this press, there were two young men in particular who were fine singers. And they would compose political and patriotic songs on the bowel format, the, the, the bowel uh, model. This may or may not, probably it was, the model which Rabindranath later on in 1905 during the, uh, the movement against the partition of Bengal where they played such an important part. Many of the patriotic songs he wrote at the time are, uh, you know, they're Baulang. They use the Baul uh, format. Uh, and, but here, Kanal Gorinath's uh, young followers anticipated them there and they would go around the villages singing these songs to large audiences. And this actually led at one point to a showdown where all the bounds, including Lalan Bhukhi, took up arms against the Latyas who had been sent against them by Devendranath Thakur. And the Latyas had to beat a retreat. So this is an, uh, an aspect of the relation between the Baal singers and the Devore family that we don't hear of very often. There's an account which was left by by Kanadurinath, which was not published in fact till the 21st century, when some scholars from Bangladesh brought it out. So you see, it's a complicated, very checkered background against which Guru uh, Vidyanath was writing these poems. Let's move on to Noibedu, the poem which I've already referred to, from which um, that poem on the last day of the 19th century is taken. Noibiddha, well, it has many, well, most of its words, the way which you all, most often think about, is uh, that of a complex vein of spirituality, veins of spirituality, more complex in their vein than Gitanjali, which was to follow. But the, the Noibiddha also contains many hard hitting poems on the state of the world in the grip of militant nationalism and its de dehumanizing extension, colonialism. To take another example, again, let me go to the Bengali. Shatfu jato purna hai, lob khudhanao, tato tar bede hoti. Vishya dharatao, aponar khaddavodi nakari vichar, jatare puri techar. Vibhatsho ahar, vibhatsho khudhare kare, niddai nilaj. The more self-interest is satisfied, the higher rises the flames of its greed. It seeks to cram the whole world into its mouth. The repellent food makes the repellent hunger cruel and shameless. In the following decades, Rabindranath probes more and more deeply to the political, economic, and humanitarian disaster of a global order corrupted by the interacting forces of nationalism, militarism, imperialism, and capitalism. This mounting intensity of vision was induced by a number of factors. One of them, surely, was this greater interaction with the world after the Nobel Award, after it began traveling, engaging with societies all over the world. But equally, as the freedom struggle intensified, 
He also marked how these global evils operated in India, along with other evils native to the land, historically embedded like caste or newly implanted like communism. A third factor is his practical engagement with the world at ground level once he took on responsibility for the Shakti Jikatanashram, which became Vishwabhad. In the development from ashram to university, there is a striking scene. When the ashram began, it was actually very restrictive. It was markedly casteist and sectarian. But then, as the decades went by, by soon in fact, it opened up to a joyously free, liberated mental and social space, where not only did the whole world build its nest in the famous phrase, but which saw radical advances in gender relations, social equality, and rural uplift. The ideas behind these developments are extensively treated in his prose writings and validated imaginatively in his poetry and drama. If you wish to focus on a single major work, a good choice would be the plea, Rock the Colony. Completed, you remember, in 1924. Produced only once in Bengali in Rovindranath's lifetime, in 1930. Now, Raktokarubi is in a way a kind of continuation from, it's like a retelling of a much earlier play, Raja, in 1910. Raja embodies a spiritual allegory of the human soul's uh, union with the divine. And the Raja, the king, in the play Raja, is, is invisible. But from behind the skirt, he's liberal. His rule is the benevolent anarchy. And his spirit is expressed in that famous song, Amra Shabai Raja Amadeli Raja Rajapati. We are all kings in the kingdom of this king of ours. Then in 1923, Rabindranath began work on another play about the hidden king, Raktabad, completed in 1924. But its first title was not Raktabad. The first title was Jokkapuri, the city of the Yakshas, the subterranean retinue of Kube, the god of wealth. The king of this play derives his wealth from gold and mines, acquiring power and wealth through tyranny and exploitation, not like the benevolent king of Raja. The mines are worked by an oppressed, regimented workforce, drained in mind and body. There is an unsparing critique of exploitative capitalism in an industrial society. The enslaved laborers and their managers, the village headmen, and cultural collaborators the hypocritical priest, the theologian, and the no less compromised scientist academic, Rodamak. While the play might have a symbolic purport, there is nothing symbolic in the presentation of the socio-economic order. And Rabindranath wrote two separate prefaces to this play at different times, where he explicitly makes this point. This is not a symbolic play. This is not a rupak. Take it literally. And can have a cite an anecdote, if you like, over here. I said the Bengali play of the Kodami was acted only once in Tagore's lifetime in 1934. But before that, in 1928, the English translation, read all the ideas, was acted in Bombay, Mumbai. And promptly, the police arrested the entire cast and the production team as being participants in a seditious communist conspiracy. As one member of the team in English were actually wrote afterwards, probably for the police, the word red had only one implication, which is communism, nothing else. But the place final title of Rock the Colony enshrines the power of life and nature, a flowering plant, fragile and delicate, but it overcomes the lust for lifeless buried metal as the power of the young woman Nundi overcomes the Raja's might and transforms the Raja himself. The implicit allegory of two ideals of life, two value systems embodied respectively in agriculture and in mining, emerges in a poem that he wrote in 1934, a poem called Bhumikongo, about that great Bihar earthquake of 1934, which made Gandhi, you will remember, say that this was a punishment visited upon Indians uh, because of the sins they have committed. Of course, as Rabindranath uh, has pointed out, why should the punishment be visited on the poor Bihari's alone and not on the rest of India? 
We do not ridicule Gandhi's idea in literal terms. And it's important to remember, Gandhi was so open-minded, he allowed Rabindranath to publish the strong attack on his own stand in his own journal, Varijan. And then he wrote a reply to that. But for Rabindranath, in metaphorical terms, the earthquake, the earthquake became the symbol of an unnatural socio-economic order represented by mining that leaves the earth to plunder sterile, inert, metallic wealth. In one of the pre 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 prefaces to Rock the Colony, he contrasts this greed-led Akarshanjivi order, the order led by Akarshan, attraction, by greed, with the Korshanjivi agricultural order, the order based on Korshan, not love, that endlessly conserves and renews the natural order of life. But even agriculture, says Rokhmanath, is forgetting its own true nature, driven by monstrous greed. And this has so many other respects been perhaps proved prophetic if you think of what has happened since. Much earlier in this English work, Nationalism, Rabindranath had already said, quote, the nation of the West is driving its tentacles of machinery deep down into the soil. Rokta Bhagavi, like the earlier Mukta Dhara, is a play about mechanization at several levels. The simplest, of course, is the literal use of machines. But that use has not become worse. Mukta Dhara has a song, Nomo Jantra, Nomo Jantra. This is because the human being has become a machine. In the English lecture on Dr. Uh, Gorovi that I cited earlier, Tagore says, I quote, until Nondini came, the other characters took for granted the perpetual domination of the strong, the continual oppression of the weak, and that in the effort to pile up material wealth, they should, by their own fellows, by their fellow humans, be transformed from men into machinery to the mutilation their own humanity. And this transformation from the human to the mechanical takes place not at the individual level alone, but the social. See, there are so many writings where Rabindranath extols the living shamaj that was the traditional pattern of Indian life that looked after all its members. But now, under the colonial industrial order, this has been transformed into a systemic machine Jokkopuri represents I mean, the, the city where uh, the Rokta Colony is situated and the original name of it, uh, the original title of it. Jokkopuri is an unnatural, anti natural order, an order of death and not of life. This is what one of the characters says about it, one point. And let me quote this short passage in the Bengali. Grohode Shurjuke, Jontura Bhoyaka, Purno Shurjuke Kana. Creatures fear the sun during an eclipse, not when it is full. Jokkapuri Gromon Ladapuri. Jokkapuri is the city in eclipse. Shonar Gorte Ragute, okay, Kavlek Hedge. O Nija Astana, Kauke Astana, the China. It is not whole itself, and it will not be anything whole. It has been eaten up by the Rahu of the greed for gold. I would like to look a little more closely at the implication of these words. Kauke asto rakte chana. It will not let anything remain whole. The laborers in Roktokoromi are slaves, not only in body, but in mind. Their brains and personalities have shrunk till they can think of no other life than this one. Even a dissident capital Vishu, that is this Vishu Bhagna, this character in Roktokoromi, who has not completely surrendered to this, uh, this rule, he says rebellious things, utters protests, but he knows that he's been defeated by the system. This is what he says. He says he once told the Sardar, the overseer, I'm feeling ill, I want to go home. And the Sardar said, you poor thing, how can you travel home if you're so ill? Try, see if you can do it. Just like that. So I tried, but I found at last that once you are caught in the clutches of Yakshapu, its jaws close open. There's no other road open before you except into its maw. This total loss of identity is reflected with loss of names. The mind workers are known not by their names, but by, you know, codes of letters and digits, 
Chapter Bishop O, Urjoktor Elion. And this reminds me of a theoretical premise much later than Rubinadas, of uh, Gilles de Duce's concept of the individual, not the individual, but the individual. Democratic humanism premises the rights and dignity of the individual, the full undivided human being. But what Deleuze calls a society of control divides the individual, retaining only that segment, that small part, which is required for a particular utilitarian purpose or a particular exploitative purpose. And therefore, Deleuze says, in the societies of control, what is important is no longer either a signature or a number, but a code. It substitutes for the individual or numerical body the code of a individual material to be controlled in the progressive and dispersed installation of a new system of domination. Now, Deleuze is talking about a society driven by computers. The computer system, which has transformed the whole of society into a system. As we know, we today are, we think we are human beings, individuals, but in fact, so many of our major identities are associated with our codes. Our Aadhaar card, our PAN card, our bank account, uh, so many other things. We have been reduced to so many strings of figures that in any particular identity, it's one of those strings of figures that is important. If I cannot quote my PNR number, I cannot go my PN home tomorrow. Okay. So what is important is the number not the person who's going to travel back to Kota. You see, this complete fragmentation of human society, of organic human society, into codes and, and segments, this is something which Rabindranath astonishingly foretold nearly 100 years ago. The fragmentation and waste of the human entity in a socio-economic order advanced in his day and approaching a terrifying fulfillment in ours. A last point about Dr. Gorobi is the role of gender. It is a woman who brings release from this malevolent enslaving order. Nondini, holding out a sprig of flowers to vanquish the soldier's soul and the miner's pickaxe. But then, the end of the play is very interesting. And for which reason many critics, especially some Marxist critics, that castigated Rabindranath. They've taken him to task. Because at the end of the play, the adversary, the evil Raja, is not destroyed. He is reformed or transformed. And finally, the Raja comes out from behind his wall and he leaves his palace together with Nondini, past the dead body of Nondini's lover, Ranjan, who has been killed by the Raja's soldiers. And the Raja now goes out to fight those very soldiers of his own arm. So what allegory should be needed to this? This is my answer, with which you may not be on a degree. See, unlike Gandhi, Rabindranath was not an opponent of, indust of industrialization in itself. In 1938, some younger, forward-looking congressmen, like Shubhash Chandra Bosch and Jahalal Nehru, sent Meghnath Shah as their representative to Shantariketon to meet Rabindranath to solicit his support for the idea of a planning commission for India, independent India in the future. After independence, as we know, Rabindranath's devoted associate, Prashanta Chandra Mahodana Mish, was chairman of the second planning commission, besides, of course, being a distinguished physicist and pioneer of statistical science. The ending of Rokta Koromi shows how Rabindranath was receptive, receptive to the idea of a beneficently reoriented industrial order, free of the excesses of capitalist and colonial exploitation. These ideas crystallized after his visit to Russia in 1930, as recounted in his travel of Russia of Chichi. Russia of Chichi appeared in 1931. He made that visit in 1930. Some of these letters, the Chichi, some of them are written during that visit, others were written, in fact, greater number were written after his return and the whole book appeared in 1931. Now, 1931, 
Stalin was already in power. And the, all the oppression and tyranny that we associate with Stalinist totalitarian rule, the process had begun. Now, you see, this is a somewhat disconcerting feature of Rabindranath's political outlook. You see, he was so uh, overwhelmingly occupied with, the, with his protest against indignation, anger against colonial exploitation, that maybe he was, at times, one feels insufficiently sensitive to other kinds of exploitation. For instance, there's a history to which I won't go of his rather checkered uh, relations with Italy during Mussolini's fascist rule. In Russia also, when he visits Russia, he is aware that there is this oppressive totalitarian side of the, of the Russian state. He said that Jokishto Jogordosti Achi, Bina Michale Duto Pontokita Shasti, Sheo Chori, there's a lot of coercion, swift punishment without trial. There is freedom in all other respects, but not against the ruler's decree. And he also says that the educational system in Russia is too narrow, too limited, too restrictive, and this is going to cause problems in the future because they are trying to put the whole educational system into a mold, a charge. But humanity does not survive within a mold. So he, he is aware of all these defects, but he doesn't pay much attention. He dismisses them as the defect, these defects at the dark side of the moon and says, I want to focus on the bright side. So let us today do the same. And our object, after all, is Rabindranath's thought. It is not the reality of Stalinist rule. Okay. So what I'm concerned with is not what Stalin is, how Stalin's Russia actually was, but how Rabindranath conceived of it and what ideas he built on this basis. The Soviet model, he says, relies on a threefold foundation. Agriculture, education, and the machine, Jonathan, which you might take to be industrialization. In the Indian tradition also, he takes Krishna or Govardhan as the lord of cattle keeping and agriculture, and Balaram, Amadhar, as the lord of the plow and some machines. The machine in accord with agriculture in an educated and economically equitable society. Such an order is not unlike the ideal which from the example I've just shown you, already the forward-looking congressmen were forming in the 1930s, and which maybe then came to be realized after the independence in the Nehruvian idea. In particular, Rabindranath brought away three profound insights from Russia, which cover all the subsequent thought on social, political, and economic matters. The first places poverty and exploitation in a class context. At the very start of Russia, he says that he had always recognized the injustice of a stratified society, divided society. And I'll just quote some examples. But, says Rabindranath, earlier, I thought it was otherwise. Society and humanity, he had thought, needed certain blessings which could only be bestowed by an elite. And the elite requires the service of the masses. He had glibly imbibed the logic, he confesses, this is his verse, not mine, that the upper floors of the house can only be built on the basis of the lower floors. Or the, it takes a, another uh, metaphor of a lampstand comparison. The flame shines from the top of the lamp, but the lampstand itself remains in shadow covered with dirty grease. His visit to Russia, he says, stunned him with the realization that could be, there could be a radically different structure of society with the working classes were central and privileged. The second point follows from the first. You may say it's an emotional reaction to the first. To study the expression of this passage, let me quote the first sentence in Bengali and then uh, read out the translation. Nearly 70 years old. All this time, I had never grown impatient 
Looking at the heavy burden of ignorance in my own country, I chiefly blame, let's not say ignorance, let's say unenlightenment, Mughal. I chiefly blame fate and tried to provide what little relief I could with my feeble strength. It's not the only thing one could do to help matters, but it's a personal charity, private charity, nothing more than that. Now, having come to Russia, we have seen what radical systemic change is possible. He cites another example also of Turkey under uh, uh, Kamal Bhatt. Several poems of the last decade of his life are in a vehement, almost aggressively radical way, like this famous short piece, which I'm sure you can see. Here are two or three passages which I will quote in Bengali as well as in English. This is very familiar, let me repeat it again. Nagini Rachali Dike Perike Chapishakta Mishar Shanti Lodito Mani Shonai Ke Bhakta Porihar Vidai Nevara Ke Dai Dhaak Diye Jai Dhanove Shate Jara Shangra Me Tore Prasthul Kote Chikhare Bhai on every side, she sneaks through poisonous breath to turn the words of truth to a vain jest. Therefore, I call before I part to all arraying in every home to war with demons in the days to come. This can fitly be read as a call to revolution. Not necessarily violent revolution, but revolution, certainly. This poem was written piquantly on Christmas Day in 1937. Look at another poem, which was written on Vijay Roshan, the Sera, 1938. These, these dates may not be only significant. I suggest they are. This is a poem called Prayer Chitra, which appeared in the collection Novojatok, which is even more uncompromising in its projection of class iniquities. This is how the poem begins. Upor akashe shajano torit alo. Torit, of course, is electricity. It's talking about electric lights, which were still very unusual, even in a city like Kolkata at that date. But Torit Alu is also lightning, and the thunder and lightning of warning of the coming retribution of fate, the disaster which is to come. Upor Akashi Shajano Torit Alu, Nimne Nibi, Oti Bhagbar Kalo, Bhumikar Bhe Rate, Kudhadur Ar Guri Bhoji De Nidarun Shanghate, Lightning light arrayed in the sky above, below in the dense and savage darkness of an underground night, the evil fire of sin is spreading through the fearsome clash between those who starve and those who watch. Kudhartu and Kuriguchi where the spoils of plunder have gathered in the hell that we call civilization. This is not Rabindrik language, but it is Rabindranath's language. The previous year, in February 1937, he had written that famous poem, Africa, which places this opposition of exploiters and exploited in the ultimate colonial context. The poem fiercely satirizes the hypocritical mouthing of the doctrine of Christian charity by the European races. Yet the poem concludes by evoking the same idea, this time to be sung by the poet of a new age, Jugantar and Kumi. And Prashtito, that poem I just read out before this, also looks forward to the victory of peace. But it is paradoxically a peace of militant force, a fighting peace. Bipula Birja Shanti. So, let me read this, which is Bengali also. Shobena Devota and Hano Apoman E Pati Bhakti, this fake uh, devotion. Jodi Bhubane Thake Aja Tej Kollan Shakti, Vishon Jokke Prayash Chitta Purna Kuriya Shishi, Nuton Jivon Nuton Aloke, Jami Be Nuton Deshi. I don't think I can trust in that. Nuton Jivon Nuton Aloke, Jami Be Nuton Deshi. Later, in a poem, written just about six months before his death. This is poem number 22 in the late collection, John Mutini. Again, Rabindranath writes fiercely of time's revenge on the degenerate ruler who consigns his subjects to such abjection. Rajai Prajai Bhedama, to make a difference uh, between the ruler and the rule, Rajai and Prajai. Pai Tolai Rakesh Hagmanash Chaha, you're 
sort of got to trade in disaster under food. But one day the disaster will break loose. Ashibe Bidhir Kache Hisham Chupia Dewazi. There will come a day when they have to end it in accounts to free it. As I said a while ago, our preconceptions of the Rabin Greek make us feel surprised to find such poems in Rabindranath's verse. Yet, I tried to show how this line of thought is present in his poetry, at least from the early middle period, from poems like uh, Ibad Kiramore. What is new is this new confident prospect of change, even violent change of retribution. So that was this, this is a second movement. What was the third movement that comes about for the last decade of Islam? I will end with this. It's a bit of poem, which was composed on 13th February 1941, that is to say, less than six months before his death. It is a poem which I was discussing, in fact, with uh, Dr. Okar Mohanty uh, three years ago. Let me again cite this in Bengal. Matir Priti Bipane Akhi Medi Jave, Dekishita Kolor, Kolor Kolor Rabe, Bipu Janata Chale, Nana Pate, Nana Dole Dole, Jub Jugan Tar Pate, Manushe Nitto Proyojane, Jibo Ne Monone. Ura chirokhal, tane naan, bhore rakhe haal, ura mathe mathe bheej hone paka dhaan kaate, ura kaaj kare, nabode kaate. When I open my eyes to this world, this is the translation made by Shukriya Chodhuri. When I open my eyes to this world of play, I see passing in constant clamor a great rush of people on many paths, in many paths. From age to age, in daily human, in daily human errors, in life, in death. They forever bend to the ore, hold the tiller. In the fields, they sow and reap. They work in towns, in the open plains. And this workforce of humanity continues. Empires come and go. But over the ruins of hundreds and hundreds of empires, they keep on working. We may recall here a poem which he wrote 46 years earlier in Choitani what your poems he wrote on the backs of the uh, river Padma in Potishka. This poem uh, is called Shaman Nanok, an ordinary man, a humble man. It describes a farmer, a very humble farmer, going home to his cottage at the, uh, at the end of his working day. And then the poet says, if after a hundred centuries, by some magic spell, this poet were to appear just like this, carrying a stick, Died going home from work. The account of his life, which today seems utterly trivial, or very nobody is interested in this man. But hundred centuries later, it would sound like poetry. But that is a single figure invested by the poet with timeless human dignity. This late poem, which I just read out to you, or Akashkari, this presents a worldwide array of such humans constituting the order that upholds the world, seen virtually in a cosmic perspective. The toiling classes have acquired an absolute validation. It is a political statement at a different level for more positive orientation. Let me try to explain the transformation from a passage near the start of the uh, 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 a passage near the start of uh, his uh, of his uh, volume called Manushir Dharmo, published in 1933. Now, Manushir Dharmo is not the Bengali equivalent of the English volume called The Religion of Man. The Religion of Man consists of the Hibbert lectures delivered at Oxford in 1930. Manushir Dharmo consists of the Komala lectures delivered at Calcutta University in 1932-1933, around that time. The book was published in 1933. This is just not a moment, but they are not, the, they are not just equivalents in two different languages. The basic argument of Manushya Dharma, the Bengali book, greatly simplified, is that humankind has an intrinsic bent for something more than minimal material needs, that it seeks a higher fulfillment akin to divinity. He illustrates this by the image of a night train See, later in life, he was write a famous poem about life being like a night like train. But this is the first passage. He says there's a train running through the night. 
there are lamps in the porches of the tree. The lamps light up the interior of the porch, but that's at the least part of it. On looking out of the window, the light is also spreading outside the window. And if the traveler looks out of the window, he sees that the entire landscape lit up by those lamps. This view has nothing to do with the practical purpose of his journey, everything to do with the mental expansion derived from it. The traveler is not simply passing from point A to point B. He's passing through the entire landscape, the entire countryside in between. It is a metaphor for our release into a total human identity in the course of our own limited lives. Uh, in another poem, uh, Aroko uh, Ten, sorry, this is not another poem, this is the poem I've already cited to, to, to you about the toiling masses. Toiling humanity has achieved this release. It has seen as totally and intrinsically human, emitting Jimone Mohamantun not by transcending their mundane level, labor, but by virtue of their mundane labor. Not that they've ceased to be humble laborers and moved to a higher plane. Their humble labor has been raised to higher pay. Many or most of them might have suffered exploitation and enslavement, but as a body, collectively, they are exalted in one supremely independent identity. A few weeks earlier, in G or the 18th January 1941, he had written another poem, which you know, appeared later, a poem whose first line, is a famous poem, the first line is, this is poem number 10 in John Modi. The earlier poem I was reading was poem number 10 in Aruko. This is John Modi. Um, here, here the, he laments how little he has been able to interact with this great world of the masses. And this is a thought that comes home to him again and again in his later poetry. There's a one poem, for instance, called Op Epare Opa, this side and that, where he, imagines, where he is sitting on the balcony of his uh, house, his mansion in Kolkata, looking across the street to the middle class tenements across the road and seeing the great gulf in between, which he has been unable to bridge. In this poem, similarly, he says that I have been exiled from the world of the toiling masses. By, I have been exiled by my high social status and by fame. He talks about his social status and his fame, but not in order to boast about them, rather the kind of spirit of confession, of sense of inadequacy. And then he calls upon the an unborn poet of a new, at least an unknown poet of a new generation, to make good this lack. Esho Kobi of Kato Jone Dilbak Mone. Come, poet of the voiceless hearts of those unknown. Deliver their inmost pain. Fill the dry, joyless desert scorched by contempt in this lifeless land where songs have ceased. Fill it with rust. Give voice to the voiceless hearts of these unknown people. This is the call that they made 47 years earlier in the poem Ibar Kirao. But the context is now radically different. The poet is no longer speaking of the silent masses as though he's the benefactor from a higher plane, but as the kin. They have their own man, their own cat, which the poet must learn to participate in. And which this poet, Rabindranath, may not have been. The other interesting thing is that there is no explicit spirituality in these poems. He's not talking about God. In his earliest work, in his earlier work, the toilers' labor had been validated by the divine. God had left the temple to mingle with the farmer and the road builder. Famous poem in, uh, from Gitanjali. <laughs> One of the most famous English translations also in the Indian culture leaves this chanting and singing and telling of peace. Because God is not there in the temple. God is where the tiller is tilling the hard ground and where the pathmaker is making stones. He is with them in sun and in shower, 
and his garment is covered with dust. But by this time, Gobindranath's religious religion of man had authenticated the presence of the divine in the human. He does not have to talk about the divine as something separate. And I cite another poem from John Ruby, where he uh, looks up at the sun and he sees the and the words of a Vedic hymn rise in his mind. And he addresses the sun. Says, in your deepest radiance, the supreme radiance of the deepest heart, let me see the true form of my own soul. So I'm trying to illustrate one purpose of this great quest, which is to find that Attashav first and foremost in the totality of his fellow humans. He confesses in the end that he has failed, that is, that he has not been totally successful. But we may say that some failures contain a more formidable achievement than the successes of conventional political economy. Thank you. But uh, in fact, uh, before I end, I mean, uh, pass the, the, the note was not as you might have thought, asking me to, uh, to, to sort of close. Uh, to, to sort of summarize what I was saying, not that at all. Thank you very much for letting me have my full say. In fact, the note was to ask me to add something. Well, you need relief to know that I cannot add very much more because I don't know very much about the subject. I never researched it. Maybe I should have done it for coming. Uh, it was this request. Please mention about the divorce connection with Odisha. Ah, yes, so many connections with He came here many times. Uh, and, and honestly, a, I, do not, I know practically nothing about it. B, if somebody who didn't know about it began talking, that would be a separate, maybe in some future year you can invite somebody else to deliver a lecture on that subject. I think what, uh, the point that, uh, um, uh, which again I was discussing with Dr. Mohanty a few days ago, was that, uh, in fact, the uh, devotees to come to Orisha, and uh, generally speaking, Bengalis would visit Odisha, visit Puri, of course, even then it was a, and especially following Chaitanya uh, visit in his, uh, in his time, it was a, already a great place of pilgrimage for Bengalis. But at that time, they came not over land, there were no railways yet, but by sea, you see, along the coast, by boat. And the poem I was, uh, we, we were discussing, was a poem called Shomudre Prati, which he wrote after a shipwreck, you know, after there was a, in a storm, there was a boat wreck in which a lot of these pilgrims died. Uh, this is another unfortunate association. And Shomudra was not directly connected with it, he just wrote the poem afterwards. But undoubtedly he had many connections which will be investigation, which I'm afraid I cannot give a light Thank you very much.
डॉक्टर गोपीनाथ महांती शहे नौतम जन्मतिथि अवसर ये स्मारक वक्तृता माला जो आज आम समस्त एकाठी हो स्थान स्मारक वक्तृता प्रदान करम गहरे जे सुंदर भावे उपस्थापना कले एवं विश्वकवि रवीन्द्रनाथ ठाकुर लेखा आधारित तो जो वक्तृता उपस्थापन कले जादवपुर विश्वविद्यालय एमेरिट्स प्रोफेसर सुकांत चौधरी महोदय माननीय सभापति डॉक्टर ऋषिकेश मल्लिक उपसभापति डॉक्टर संग्राम जेना मुख्य अतिथि विभाग अनुशासन सचिव जी आम ठीक विदाय नहीं चली गोपीनाथ महांती फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट अध्यक्ष प्रफेसर ओंकार नाथ महांती मो पाखे जे बसिक सब कथा सुंदर भाव अनुसरण कर संपादक श्रीजुक्त अमृतनाथ महांती एवं एकाडेमी सचिव प्रबोध बाबू प्रिंटिंग मीडिया वैद्युतिक गणमाम प्रतिनिधि फटो संपादक सांबादिक आकाशवाणी दूरदर्शन खबरदाता तथा तो उपस्थित साहित्य अनुरागी सर्जन मंडली ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी स्मारक वक्तृता कार्यक्रम मानक सदैव उपस्थित निम्त मुण को समस्त को धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करुच्ची एठार प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी जो वक्तव्य रखिले मो विचार रे मो सामान्य कथा टे कह चाहे वो ध्यान सहित शुणुली जे मानववाद मूल्यबोध भित्तिक तर जो वक्तृता एवं ह्यूमेनिटी उपरे भी से प्रशंसा प्रसंग भित्ति से उपस्थापन कर समाज रे जो मैंने अवहलित अवस्था रे अच्छा जो मान चेतना सृष्टि करने रवीन्द्रनाथ ठाकुर चेष्टा कर साहित्य वृत्ति मध्यम ये राइटर लिखिंट मुझे जाने कि पत्र टे कविता मन रखी मुझे ए संसार हाय से ही बेसी चाय जार अच्छे भूरी भूरी राजार हस्त करे समस्त कांगाल भंचुरी एक कथा सहजरे बुझी पार मैंने जे ए संसार किए बेस चाहे जार बेस बेस जिन संपत्ति बाड़ी अच्छे से आहरी लोभ रे आहरी जिन से चाहे आउ राजार हस्त करे समस्त कांगाल धन चोरी कांगाल लोक जो मैंने कांगाल लोक गरीब लोक तर धन संपत्ति को चोरी कर राजा आहरी बड़ लोक हाँपाई जो स्वप्न देखी था भाई समाज लोक सेत आहान जड़े बंगला कवि तेणु समाज को परर्तन करने रवीन्द्रनाथ ठाकुर जो अमूल्य अवदान रही गोटे पर धारा सृष्टि करने से जो नुआ चेतना नुआ संभावना देखु तार बास्तव रूप नापी जो चिंतन चेतना तरह कार्यक्रम साहित्य उपस्थापन करयी आम समस्त कालजयी एवं जुग जुग को से प्रेरणा आम को समस्त को दौ मोटामोटी भाव आज जहाँ वक्तृता माला दे सृष्टि नूतन चिंतन व्यवस्था आम कौन करूर जा मानववाद मूल्यबोध को आम के स्तर को नहीं पार ये समस्त कथा को सी प्रांजल भाव बुझे 
मो तरफ रू मो विभाग तरफ रू साहित्य अकाडेमी पक्ष हार्दिक धन्यवाद विज्ञापन एवं करोपीनाथ महांती जो वक्तृता माला आज शहे नौतम जन्मतिथि सुंदर भाव आलोचना आग को आग को आम नूतन स्वप्न देखा एवं एकाडेमी तार एक्टिविटी को आवरी सानी तो तीव्र कर आशा रखी मोर वक्तव्य शेष कर नमस्कार जय हिंद बंदे उत्तर जय महोदय समय अतिक्रांत सभासीन मानवर मंत्री एवं आज जे प्रमुख वक्ता श्रीजुक्त सुकांत चौधरी महोदय समस्त सभासीन मोर सहकर्मी एवं आपण मान नौटा बाजवा को दस मिनट अच्छे आपण मान आवेग आम बुझु तेणुकर जो दस मिनट रहा मु छ मिनट ने भी चार मिनट रखी उपसभापति समापन भाषण देवे तारी भरे खाली गोटे कथा जा देख ली साम्य गोपीनाथ महांती और रवींद्रनाथ दुईज महाचेता ऊर्धचेता साहित्य भितर से केवल मुक्षेप कह सुकांत दादा जो कहले अनेक कवित उदाहरण देले विशेष कर दुई बिघा जमी से कथा मुझे उल्लेख करूना दुई बिघा जमी रे जमीदार नहींगला दुईटा लेंबू चोरी कर लोकटी जे लगे गच्छ से चोर सब्यस्त हो रवींद्रनाथ जो हाहाकार से व्यथा दुई बिघा जमी रे पड़ी स्तंभीभूत हो समस्ते आपण मैंने जो मैंने बंगला भाषा जानूँ रवींद्रनाथ जी पढ़े बंगला भाषा ही पढ़े गोटे कवित उदाहरण देवी जहाँ से उदाहरण देना से गोटे आनंद मयूर आगमने दादा आनंद मयूर आगमने कांगालिनी ये कविता अच्छे छोट झीटे घरे जार कई ना माँ ना मरी जा दुर्गा पूजा रे दुर्गा मड़ देखा जा आखिर लुह दुर्गा को अने देने दे कि दुर्गा कौच एत तोर रतन भूषण मोर कैन मलिन तुम एत रतन भूषण तुम पिंधि माँ मुझे मैला जमा पिंधि से कहते रवीन्द्रनाथ से झीटी मुहरे कौन कत लोक फेले अश्रुधार जेह नहीं स्नेह नहीं आहा संसार के केह नहीं तारा शून्य हाथ गृह ना केह छेलेरा छुटिया आसे का चोखे सुधु अश्रु जल अच्छे छेलेरा कोले छेलेरा कोले भी मातृहरा माँ जदि ना पाए द्वारे जदि था दंडाइया म्लान मुख विषाद विरस यही इम्पोर्टाट पर तब मिछे सहकार शाखा तबे मिछे मंगल फलस माँ के पाखे जो आंब डा दिखे से मिछ माँ के पाखे जो मंगल कलश बस से मिछ रवींद्र नाथ जो धिकार ये धिकार केवल आप देखिए गोपीनाथ महांती उपन्यास गोटे बढ़िया कथा कहले दादा मुझे मन रखी उपकार नाई रे नाई प्रतिकार बाजे आकाश जुड़े गोपीनाथ महांती उपन्यास पढ़े पैंतीस टू उपन्यास भितर मु प्राय अंत पंद्रह कोड़े टू उपन्यास पढ़ी अक्षर अक्षर यही कथाटा ये हाहाकार गरीबों पर दुखी पर जमीती अच्छी रवींद्रनाथ ठाकुर कवित गल्पन्यास समभाव 
समान उच्चता नहीं अच्छी गोपीनाथ महांति उपन्यास केवल मुझी से उदाहरण दी कह तार उदाहरण दे जत गति फेरी आकुरजानी टिकरा जानी मंडिया जानी बाप पतिन जन से खबर पाई जिली बिली दीज झी जा रोड कम कर दूर से रोड कम जाए फेरी आनी फेरी आनला जो फेरी आनी भेटूँ जिली को शुक्रजानी गोपीनाथ महां लिखुं कौन देखु जिली ता कांधरे आज पड़ी शुक्रजानी कह तू कांदुचु माँ जिली बाप उपरको ढली पड़ला काढ़ी टाणी दे बाप झीर दुख को राति घोड़ पकेला मनीष दुख से समग्र यूनिभर्स मटि आकाश जाए नक्षत्र मंडल जाए संवेदनशील हो उठे जहाँ रवींद्रनाथ संग साहित्य प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी कहले ठीक आहुरी उच्चतारे गोपीनाथ महांत उपन्यास से कई कार तुलन नुहते दुईज हूँ महार्ग प्रतिभा दुईज निज बाटे कर आशा समस्त निराशा भितर आशा देखा हूँ गोपीनाथ महांत उपन्यास काम एवं रवींद्रनाथ मध्य ठीक से तेणु आपण मान विशेष किसी कहूना मुझे समय आपको प्रतिश्रुति दे से समय सरी आस तेणुक जिते आपण मैंने गोपीनाथ को पढ़े उपन्यास पढ़े से आपण मैंने आविष्कार करेंगे गोपीनाथ महांति नूतनत्व रवींद्रनाथ बंगल भाषा निर्माण कर गोपीनाथ महांती फकीर मन पर ओडिया भाषा रे भाषा को तैयारी कर भाषा केमी गोटे केवल उदाहरण दौर मनंग हिर चाष राधुर सहपाटी मंजुलिकार वर्णना कर गोपीनाथ महांती देख इमेजरी स्तंभीभूत हो समग्र भारतीय साहित्य स्तंभीभूत हम मंजुलिका को वर्णना कर आखि को मुखश्री कमी भर चढ़ा कुंद फुला पर आखि जोड़ाक भर चढ़ा कुंद फुल पर आखि जोड़ाक सज दुहा दुध परी सुंदर मुखश्री चमत्कार एभली चित्रकल्प मु मुलक राजा आनंद द अनटचेबुल पढ़ी कंपेयर कर गोपीनाथ महांति हरिजन सहित आपण मैंने भारत बर्षर उपन्यास सहित एपर्तन गोपीनाथ महांति को तुलना करना विद्वान मैंने जदि आपण मैं थे तुलना करने को जब आपण मैंने विस्मित हे कि भाव में ओडिया भाषा को नुआक या गोपीनाथ महांती आप देखु गोटे उदाहरण देवी जब अशी टा जरिमाना हो जिली को उपभोग कर जंगल जमान भूल निष्पत्ति अशी टा जरिमाना होती दलाल मान कि अशी टा नहीं कि पांच टाँचा लाच दे कि पंद्रह टाँचा देखिए जमल जमान को मुक्ति करते गोपीनाथ महांती स्टेटमेंट गोटे धाड़ी शुक्रजानी घर उपर मटिया चिल बसला करूँ ट्रांसलेसन के करेंगे गोपीनाथ महांती प्रत्येक शब्द विषय भारतीय महासंस्कृति गोटे अंत शैला फल को प्रवाहित होनुवादित हो पार ना जमी रवींद्रनाथ कवित से भाषा प्रभावित होता अनुवाद्य दुईज भारतीय साहित्य रवींद्रनाथ अनेक कविता अनुवाद्य एवं अनेक वर्णना गोपीनाथ महांती अनुवाद आम केवल गपटा कह चे कहानी कह चे कहूना बहुत कथा अच्छी कह गोपीनाथ महांत पढ़ी तेणुक गोपीनाथ महांती गोष्ठी साहित्य मनुष्य को चिन्हं रवींद्रनाथ ठीक चिन्हं गोष्ठी भितर मनुष कथा कही मनुष भितर गोष्ठी कथा कही तेणुक युईज महान प्रतिभा को आज मु प्रणाम करुचि कारण रवींद्रनाथ को मु आंतरिक भाव में पढ़ी एवं रवींद्रनाथ गीताजलि को दुई हजार तेर मसीह मुझे अनुवाद कर ठीक रवींद्रनाथ जमी गद्य पद्य कर
रवीन्द्रनाथ जिते धाड़ी अच्छी गीतांजलि मुझे चेषा करतीक धाड़ी में अनुवाद करने को सही सांगीतिक रक्षा करने को तो रवींद्रनाथ मोर प्रणम्य कवि एवं गोपीनाथ महाजी हो मोर प्रणम्य साहित्यिक भारतीय साहित्यर यही दुईज महान कृतित्व संपन्न स्रष्टा को मु प्रणाम करंकार बाबू को अमृत बाबू को एवं नवेदिता भाज अच्छा देवी बाबू अच्छा समस्त को मुझे आपण मैंने अच्छा जोग दे समस्त को धन्यवाद जनाऊँ एकाडेमी सब कार्यक्रम आपण यहीपर रू आम मान वक्तव्य बेले बेले भाराक्रांत हेले आपण मान सहयोग तथा भी आशा करूँ ये मोर वक्तव्य सांग कर जय हिंद एकाडेमी सभापति माननीय डक्टर ऋषिकेश मल्लिक महोदय सभापति अभिव्यक्ति कृतज्ञता नवेदन कर अंतिम उपस्थापन उपसंहार बाढ़ नवेदन करी ओडा साहित्य अकाडेमी उपसभापति विशिष्ट अनुवादक संपादक माननीय डक्टर संग्राम जेना महोदय समस्त प्रथम नमस्कार सभापति आदेश अनुसार चार मिनिट मु कह बस आवश्यक कुछ कह नहीं गोपीनाथ महांती संपर्क में सुरेन्द्रबू संपर्क में अधिक आलोचना सीटी हो जा तेना विशेष कह प्रासंगिकता भी नहीं तेज प्रथम मुंचाशीन जो मैंने अतिथि अच्छा आम सुकांत चौधरी अच्छा मंत्री महोदय अच्छा आम ओंकार अच्छा समस्त को मुझ स्वागत करमस्कार जनाऊँगी एवं प्रथम गोपीनाथ महांती शहे नयतम जो जन्मतिथि से मुष्पमल्य अर्पण करभर कृतज्ञता ज्ञापन कर सुकांत चौधरी सारगर्भक भाषण शुणापर आप बुझीपे कहीं से भाई एक विषय ग्रहण कले गोटे कवि हो गए उपन्यासिक हो साधारण लोक द्वारा कहीं ग्रहणीय हुए तार कारण हूँ गोटे साधारण लोक निजक आईडेटिफाए कै निज को जापे निजक बुझीपे कृति मध्यम ता ना सर्वजन ग्राही हे ना ये गोटे बड़ कथा से दृष्टि से साधारण लोक जीवन दर्शन एवं साधारण लोक दुख जंत्रणा को जमी बुझी रवींद्रनाथ निज बाटे बुझी गोपीनाथ महांती निज बाटे बुझी एवं केवल साहित्यर दुईट फर्म दुटा अलग करे कवित जड़े उपन्यास तेणु से विषय मोर कि कह सभापति मध्य अन्न मैंने से विषय में कही जाइं तेरे उपसंहार में केवल आम समस्त विषय में कहले सुकांत बाबू चौधरी जो अवदान ये अच्छी आमको जहाँ कही से विषय में दुई पद मु इंग्राजी में कहे क्षमा करेंगे कारण जहाँ को आम डाकि अंत विषय में किसी कहवा आम आवश्यक वी आर एक्सट्रीमली फर्चुनेट टू हाव ओथ हस ए स्कलर अफ प्रफेसर सुकांत चौधरी स्टाच्यूर फर डेलीवरी थर्टी सेकेंड गोपीनाथ महांती मेमोरियाल लेक्चर जयंटली अर्गानाइज बाय ओडा साहित्य एकाडेमी एंड गोपीनाथ महांती फाउंडेसन ट्रस्ट वे बैक् इन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन आई हाड द प्लेजर एंड प्रिभिलेज टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस टू प्रफेसर चौधरी इन ए ट्रांसलेसन सेमिनार एट जादवपुर यूनिवर्सी बै मई फ्रेंड प्रफेसर जतीन कुमार नायक द सेमिनार व्ज अर्गानाइज बै डिपार्टमेंट अफ कंपेरेट लिटरेचर एट जादवपुर यूनिवर्सी बै वन अफ मई फ्रेंडस देयर मिस्टर शायन पन दास गुप्त ह्वर आई हाड द फास्ट अपर्चुनिटी अफ लिसनिंग टू प्रफेसर चौधरी प्रफेसर चौधरीज कंट्रीब्यूशन टू रेनासा स्कलरशिप हाज रिसीव द इंटरनेशनाल एक्लेम एंड हाज एस्टाब्लीश हिज रेप्युटेसन आज ए वर्ल्ड अथरीटी अन् सिक्सट इयर हाउ एवर वन सुड नट लुज सैट अफ हिज सेमिनाल कंट्रीब्यूशन टू टैगोर स्टडिज एंड द फिल्ड अफ ट्रांसलेसन फ्यू थट दैट बांग्ला नन सेन्स भर्सेस वुड भी इफेक्टिवली रेडर्ड इन टू इंग्लीश बट प्रफेसर चौधरी अचिवड दिस् नियर इम्पसिबल टास्क इन एन इनिमेटेबल एलेगेन्स आई कल अपन द मेम्बर्स अफ हर यंग जेनेसन टू गो थ्रु हिज ट्रांसलेसन अफ अबल तबल बै सुकुमार राय फादर अफ ग्रेट फिल्म मेकर सत्यजित राय हुई इज अमेजिंगली ट्रांसलेसनाल फिट वी अल हाव इमेन्सली बेनिफिटेड फ्रम प्रफेसर चौधरीज इरुडाइट एंड इनसाइटफुल लेक्चर अन् टागोर एंड द टयलर्स वी अल नो द टागोर एज ए ग्रेट पोएट नवेलीस्ट कंपोजर पेंटर हुम गांधी कल्ड गुरुदेव एंड कल्ड हिम ए ग्रेट सेंटिनेल बट प्रफेसर चौधरी हाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अस टू ए न्यू डायमेनसन अफ द टागोर्स थट एंड प्राक्टिसेस व्हिच अफन एस्केप आवर एटेनसन दिस टागोर व्वाज डीपली कनसर्ण 
about the conditions of the toiling masses and hence crafted an innovative way to improve their lot. Thank you, Professor Choudhury, for deepening and broadening our understanding of the great and original thinker like Tagore and make, it comp uh, make a comparative study and referring it with reference to uh, Gopinath Mahamdi. धन्यवाद सभा सांग होवार उद्घोषणा करूछु किंतु निवेदन मध्य आपण मानक पे रखुछु आसंता 22 तारिक एवं 23 तारिक पूर्वान्न 10 टा समय रे संस्कृति विभाग रे सम्मेलन कक्ष रे जे केंद्र साहित्य अकादमी एवं ओडिसा साहित्य अकादमी रे 